Welcome everyone to the Art of War. We are here for our weekly stream match with a bit of a twist. Yeah. Today is game one of our stream house RTT. Ultimate trap house TT. Oh yes. RTT. Bragging rights on the line. Yeah. Hardcore lists. Bringing yeah. our A game. Absolutely zero breaks. Nope. No breaks. Nope. No like, hey, look, we're gonna sit there and like try random stuff. No, we're trying. We're, we're this, this, is, is this is meant to be effort. a legit show y'all what it's like more or less when we're on the top tables in a more casual weird way there's no excuses if you lose there's yeah. no apologies if you win yeah this one is for the small amount of marbles available but however many there are it's for all of them yeah. so what we have done for the stream house rtt is all four members of the stream house us two as well as mr siegler and mr nick Nadavati, have written three army lists mm -hmm. those three army lists we wrote them well ahead of time we didn't know what we were going to play and then we randomized six games out of those. Each yep. of these, each of us is playing the other three members of the stream house. So full round robin. Full round robin. So we're getting one game in with each army. Today, I am bringing my Salamanders. Versus my Death Skull Orcs, MSU style. Mm-hmm. So you've kind of built these to be a Marine killing army. Yep. I brought Marines, <laughs> but you know, the internet says that Salamanders are the best Marines. They are, so, they are. Of course, the internet, we'll see. We'll see, uh, it's gonna be an interesting game. Uh, yep. I think we're both feeling pretty good ahead of this one. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be real. Yep, I'm excited for this one. This is gonna be been a lot of us this. being trying to test the waters of each other at the same time while you're trying not to overextend. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we've we've been building up to this for you know the past two weeks. We've been posting videos on YouTube every day. We've been hyping it up. We're we're ready. Like I've been waiting for this game, kicking it off. You know, gonna try to start strong, but yep. uh, there is something in the way. A big elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Before we get into the deployment and the mission, let's go ahead and talk about our wonderful sponsors. First up, we do have Warpfire Minis. Warpfire Minis is a gaming store in Ocala, Florida. Uh, they're fantastic. You get the normal 15% off GW product. Would highly recommend ordering from them. As well, they have a miniature trade-in program. A lot of us here at The Art of War have used this program. Too Basically much. what happens is you've got old models. You've got things you painted we when you do. were a child. You have maybe didn't paint them well. You've got old Marines. They don't look so great. You want to get rid of them. You want to get the new Primaris. You, you got that Tiered Army sitting on the shelf and just yeah, looking at you all you sad. You just haven't used it in a while. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe you need to clear some space in the hobby room. Send these models to Warp Fire Mini. Send them an email. Send them some pictures. They'll give you a quote. They normally give 50% of retail back to you in store credit. So yep. if you've got $600 of old beat up tax Marines that you spray painted silver and didn't even wash, Give them to Warp Fire Minis, they'll give you $300 of store credit. You can get a lot of new Primaris models with that. Yep. And then you get to take your 15% off. Really good value. Yep. The next thing we got is Big Bear Free Day. Mm -hmm. Competitive terrain, but it's both <laughs> very aesthetic mm -hmm. and functional. He's made multiple boards now that top level players have designed. Mine's on the way. Those things should be up there, but I haven't, I haven't painted it. It'll be here on the channel soon. Mm -hmm. Linda's got his board on the way. We got the Siegler table. We got the Nick table. He even has a, the ITC uh, Age of Sigmar champion designed at a table for him. Mm -hmm. So check those out. You can get them painted by him, which is done by our uh, man, Cut, And he is a fabulous painter. Very, very stylistic. Or you can paint yourself. Mm -hmm. Yep, really good looking terrain. Next up, we have uh, Tabor. Tabor provided us with this wonderful mat. Yep. And uh, they actually do have their 60 by 44 available now to order on their website. The OG fat so mat. So the OG involved. fat mat, it looks great. We play on them all the time. You really, you can't beat the OG. Yep. And then we got 3D6 gaming. Mm -hmm. So you see this overlay across this table. You can get anything you want put on there. And from your missions, crusade rules, even like, you know, like quotes or so forth like that. Just mm -hmm. whatever you want on there. Don't put Nick's face. Nick has no. advertised that. Don't no. do it. Don't do it. Uh, they also have the objectives, and you can put the same stuff on there. The objectives have the line where if you don't play with the 40 millimeter base and it's just on the dot, you can play that way. Or if it has the 40 millimeter base on there, you can play with that instead too. Yep, absolutely. Next up, we do have Obey Alliance. Can't forget Obey Alliance. No. Nope. Obey Alliance is sponsoring us to really test out to see if 40k is viable as an esport. Obey is an esport company. And they really want to see, you know, how successful the art of war can be and how viable Warhammer 40,000 is. Yep. So any support that you give to us helps show Obey Alliance that 40K is an awesome game. It's a fantastic game. It is a great community. And there's a lot of potential for 40K to be a real thing that people want to watch. So any support you give us is also helping support Obey Alliance. And we really appreciate it. Yep. All right. I think that's mostly I it. I think that's it. We're going to the, go to that overhead. Overhead. All right. So, 
the mission here is surround and destroy. So we got six objectives here that are kind of set up in a, I don't know what I would say, this is a weird X uh, style formation. And it's two, two in each of ours and then two in the no man's. Yep. So the deployment zones are kind of similar to Dawn of War. Yep. And there's two objectives in each deployment zone, one behind these L-shaped ruins that we each have in our deployment zone, and then two in no man's land in the center. Yep. All right. You want to so, go over your deployment? My deployment, what happens, I put these 10 boys here just to test the water, see an either objective, where would John go? Okay. Then I have the mega knobs over here in the woods. They get them that minus one, makes them actually a little tanky. And a truck, boys, right on that objective. Also, touching the forest and within range of that objective. Then over here, I put 15 storm boys inside of this building here. Three mega knobs, 30 boys, all orange for CC, and my three characters, the weird boy, bad ruck, war boss. And then in reserves, I got two tractor cannons. Teleporter, I have. Three death dreads with on my list that are the two custom mega blasters and a big shoot on claw, and then three units of tank busters and strategic reserves. All right, on my side of the board, I have my salamanders. So I've got three outriders on the flank as well as an empty land speeder storm. In reserve, I do have three aggressors with flamestorm cannons or flamestorm gauntlets. I have five scouts behind this crate. I've got a nice blob right here of six eradicators, a land speeder storm, a chaplain, a lieutenant and a captain on bike. Behind that, I do have five plasma inceptors. Then over here behind this ruin, I've got three outriders, as well as a whirlwind scorpius, five incursors, and then I have five bolt storm aggressors. What secondaries did you choose, Mark? So I took Graham down because I really had no other good choice. I just wanna put that one out there now. To Graham down because I didn't have any better options. If I get like one or two turns, great. If I don't get it, uh, just it was hard to get any of the others. Then I took engage on all fronts because I have the mission is it's Dawn of War. It's not hard to get free table quarters and push them for four. And then I took, what was it? Raise the banners. Mm -hmm. Mostly because you're not a crazy fast list that can take my obsec army off of objectives. Um, mm -hmm. You have to kill every single model. Like these two I can secure pretty well. I'll have this one for like a turn or two. And that'd be pretty good right there. Uh, okay. You? I took uh, engage on all fronts. Um, I think just the way these objectives are and with Dawn of War, I think I'm gonna end up in a couple quarters at once. So I figured that was a good one to take. I took grind them down as well. We're both gonna really be trying to kill each other. Salamanders have a lot of damage output. Um, I've got a, my fair share of units, but I'm hoping that my damage output will be enough to carry me there. Finally, I did take bring it down. Mark has six vehicles. They only give up 12 points total, but I'm pretty confident that I'm going to need to kill those vehicles at some point. So we're gonna go ahead and take bring it down and hope that that carries through for me. Okay. All right. All right. You ready for the handshake? Let's go. Good luck, Mark. Good luck, bro. Yeet. Roll to six. I roll to four. I Mark do has one take of the roll off. The first turn, just for that board secure, uh, and to be able to get some of my banners up. Also, it allows me to redeploy a little bit over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think here. If I go first, if really sinking here. If I go first, I get the first turn to bring in screens. He doesn't have two turns are really if he go, if john goes first he has two screen two turns to really push back my screens i don't want that i want to be able to have that screen control so i'm going to do that and so what i'm going to do is i have cunning but brutal so i got to redeploy d3 units and that's gonna be two so what do i do here do i like take this truck put it over here because it doesn't matter as much and put that bird mega knob unit here oh uh, and that would just means that he's not gonna really take the objective from me very easily at all and then uh, I think that's it. I think that's the play. I can also put Captain Badrook. See what he can do. If he's on the line, can he get 29 inches to the Outriders? 29? 29, because it's movement five. Um, so if I put back Captain Badrook right here, he can shoot turn one by just moving up. Get a few extra plink shots. He could probably also... No, he can shoot at the storm because of the angle. So what we do is... We take this one. We taking this a truck, mm -hmm. and this truck is just gonna go right here. And then we're gonna take these mega knobs, and I think I just want to saturate that objective as long as possible, and be happy there. Okay. So, um, I could also take them and just like put them up here. Like right here is not a bad spot if I can be right there where the eradicators move. What? 
pretty far. They're both those units. They move five. They can move up to 11. But if they go right here, they're getting countercharged. So I can go right here, and I think this is a good position for them. Okay. All right. So that's it for my redeployments. So I'm going to first things is going to happen is I'm going to be raising some banners. So we got to do some movement over here. We're touching this objective here. And this one's going over here and touching it. Mm -hmm. And now they are going to touch with that movement at the end of it. Um, I'll just go ahead right there. Raise that banner there. So we're going to put these to represent my banner. Okay. We're putting your banner over here. Who's cool. going to raise it? We're going to raise it with just the boys. Oh, no, they can't advance. We can just raise it with <laughs> Captain Badbrook. Okay. Because he's not being able to shoot this turn. That's all fine. All right. Someone says over there, $10 for each model killed by a death dread. That's you, 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 let's go. You don't understand what my death dreads do. I'm about to make some money. Taco Bell is really cool. Oh. Okay, sorry. Let me get back to the topic in front of me. So, we're good right there. These storm boys can flop over there and grab there and gra just raise a banner. Mm -hmm. That's all they want to do. But let me see if going there with the other five man unit would kind of make this awkward. Uh, so, I want to move them first. So, that truck is going to just go ahead and advance. Go two. So, like a 14. We'll just go right there. Okay. And then we just want to take this five man and just go back over there and raise that banner. Mm -hmm. Plop there. He's just going to tap a little bit right there. These other guys are just going to fall right behind him. I love it. Okay. Now what I got to figure out here is if I want to try to fight those out outriders. Uh, with some Stormboys, do I want to pick up some of them and make it harder for him to hold that objective longer? Chaplain Chance. Chaplain Chance, yeah, go ahead. Um, we're going to make that Storm Obsec. And then okay. um, we're going to just do a um, plus one to wound the closest uh, visible target. Yep. On um, Make it on the Plasma Scepters. Okay. Passes. Passes, cool. So you're making that Storm Obsec. Why don't I just go ahead and advance those over to you guys? Cool. Do they advance just normal, right? Yeah. Okay. It really actually doesn't do much. I can go right here and just get five models of OPSEC on that objective. Okay. So that's all fine there. This unit, 24. Are they within 28? It's from your base rate. What, is, what are you measuring? I'm just measuring my rocket launcher. That's all. I see. So he has to advance. It's going to advance anyway. They're going nine. They want to go ahead and just stay over an inch away from this wall. I really want, if he wants to combat me, he has to come to the other side. Cool. So, go. Do, 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 do. You move five, right? And do you ignore the heavy penalty or the assault penalty if you advance? If I one? advance, I'll hit on force. Okay. Can you ignore that? No. Okay. So I do kind of actually just want to go over here and touch. Uh, he's at good. He's at decent CC, so they are going to touch just to get that plus one save. All right. Then we got these other two storm boys back here that are lined up. They are, when I was checking, pre-measuring 27 from both of them onto that bike. So that means that's a solid nine inch charge to get on that objective. Did they advance or did they just move? They just walked. Okay. They just went 12 inches to raise a banner. Cool. These ones, if they advance, they got, it's 27 inches. So that's a move 18. That's a what? 18. Eight inches, that's seven inch charge, right? What What is charging what? No, wait. What, then, are, you, what are you trying to charge? Uh, charging those bikes, ah. 27 inches. So you need a nine inch charge. Nine inch charge. Yeah. Um, if I'm right at 27, or right, if I go 18. You'd be nine away, so you need eight. If you're less than 27. Or if I'm, even if I'm on 27 on the dot. Are you at 27 on the dot? I believe so. Hold it over your model. My model? Okay. All right, yeah, you're and right. And that's both units. 
Okay. So eight and shard then? Yep, and I can reroll one or both dice. I see that's not bad because that takes away those bikes where he can't put bolter fire down these lanes. And the storm boys will probably be the ones that will get target the first by the Scorpius. So they're gonna do that. We'll take dudes. We won't lose any of the first unit. Mm -hmm. So 18 inches. Put me right there. Make me sure, but I'm just within that right at that nine. That second Plus. units. Do, 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 do. We know the true measurements are. Right, this to just be. turned into a seven inch charge, or we'll just move back a little bit. Okay. So because it was harder for me to tell when I was moving the model because I was right. trying to grab the model. All right. We know you need an eight. If yep. That's the plan. So. And that's the knob out front. That's the knob out front. Okay. So we go right back here. We push in that two inch coherency. A little bit. It's all. The knob has to do is advance one inches, six. We can go right here and get that bubble. The next unit's going to do the exact same thing. Just really confirm that kill. Lose one model. Mm -hmm. Bloop. He's a dead. He blew up. And Vin going over here. Line up right next to the next one. Got to push this coherency a little farther out for them. Which may make this charge a little longer. Six inches. Just don't roll like a one of my advance. Okay. So we got that. I think what we're gonna do next is move these boys around. And go from there. So moving these boys, they're gonna advance. I'm gonna go eight inches. It's so not enough to get on that objective. I did go up to six CP. Then they're just gonna pile up on over here. This is the thirty boys. Yep. They don't want to quite move that move block bad rock. Jumping on this side. So they're not worried about getting shot at as much. Right now I'm just looking at uh, Mark's turn and just kind of eyeballing what he's doing and probably what my response will be. I'm assuming at least one of these Stormboy units is gonna make this charge, and uh, they'll probably wound some outriders i would actually be surprised if he were to kill the entire unit maybe if he makes both charges it becomes more of an option for him uh we'll see how uh how that ends up developing depending on how many space. charges he makes not much i'm going to do about it at this point more just to wait and see how well those charges go for him war boss is going to mm -hmm. just an advance okay. he's more than enough to go where he wants he's going where he wants so he's covering those uh those boys those boys the storm right. boys especially to, just to make sure that he can do that yep captain badbrook yeah he's going eight he can't shoot but he sets up for next turn pretty good position the weird boy he's going rush right here yeah real quick mark yeah i'm looking at um, my outriders they're three more than three inches deep into my deployment zone so there cannot be less than 27 inches between these units because we're t starting 24 apart so move 18 six that would be if you're I'm, I'm just so looking at you like you said you're free over free or which I'm more than three back okay, from the okay. front of my deployment. So that means that it's should be right here. This block. Yeah, I just put the that dice image there. It's ten inches up. That's yeah, that's ten right there and three right there. Okay. So like I'm just letting you know like I I don't think you can be closer than twenty than nine inches right now. Okay. I don't know. So if that it's probably both the nine inch charge. Gotcha. If that changes things. Um. I just didn't think that I'd put myself in stronger. Probably range. means I don't do that second unit. If you want to change um, anything? The second unit will sh will just naturally advance then. Okay, so um, let me sync here though. Of course. Do you want to roll their advance result and see what that would change? See if that would change, or if I would just put them over here. Um. No, I think I just want to put both units. Okay, so you're setting up two nine-inch charges. Yep. Okay. And. And this is a forest, but he flies, so this will not provide a detriment there. Yep. I did this in case he were to jump the big unit around here. I didn't want to have an easy wrap. That was far away from the rest of the army. If yep. I can kill boys in combat, even if it would be annoying, I really didn't want him to have somewhere he could just hold down an anchor. That would have been very frustrating. Yeah. So these guys are gonna move right here. Just to get Wolf into jump range. Mm -hmm. 
And we're going to go into that second phase. Okay. So let me upgrade the CP spent. Or the CP gained, I'm at 6 CP. Yep. And I'm still sitting at 6 as well. Yep. All right. Save. <laughs> uh, no, I, I knew that there wouldn't be any other Space Marines in this um, in for me to play against, because I knew that I was the Space Marine player. What was uh, that? That's It's a casting value of 7 on the jump. Got it. Trying to sink. That's a fail, even with my plus three. Do I just want to reroll it? All it really does is put these guys here, which is a lot better position. I'm afraid they're just getting shot. So, saves me a unit. Okay. Uh, goes off, but does not perils. Love it. So, so just moving that 10 boy squad? Yep. Nice. Tends to go put it over there, too, because they do have a kill saw. Yeah. Um, and they I think there's a way that I can get away uh, past the forest. Totally. Um. I'm curious to see it. <laughs> From the back end, because you're not, you're with him when you're over one yeah. right there. In the that back might make row. it a ten instead of a nine. Right. So I don't think there's a nine inch charge. Okay. So Mark is really setting up a lot of units to try to pressure this flank turn one. So this guy goes nine inches. He just gets right here, and that's over an inch to the back. So that's just a good old nine inch charge. Is the strategy just set up a lot of nine inch charges, see which ones you make? Yes. Um. Uh, mostly because I just don't want you getting a foothold here. Okay. Totally makes sense. Mark is pushing really hard on this side on turn one. Yeah, I'm trying to corner you, which is what limits the Marines is once they lose their board control, it's hard for them to take that back. Of course. Um. All right. So looking at all this, we raise the banner here. We raise the banner there. We raise the banner there. So check, check, check. Oh, uh, psychic phase. You raise it there. Bad raise it back here was bad rock. Who's he's going to actually stay on that. Yep. Okay. So he's right here. Got it. Thank you, sir. It was bad. My bad. Uh, I spent my CCB, CP for the jump. Mm -hmm. So I go back down to five. Um, I don't have anything other spells that matter. Okay. So I'm trying to think. We're just going to go into that shooting phase. And um, we don't have a rocket launcher there. Rocket launcher is not in range. We got the big shooter. We can put a couple extra plink wounds on the bikes, which I think is a good idea. Okay. So we'll put a big shooter here from this truck. Sure. And Band sixes. Nope. Death skulls. Nope. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do ten twice. Sure. What's uh, that shooting? Sorry, the boys because he does not have a uh, shooter. Nine twice plus one on the second one. Uh, shooting those. Uh, the bikes. The bikes is there. Are they all within eighteen of that guy? No. Okay. So just, so, bikes. just the bikes. Three Dakas. Nope. Then I gotta reroll one of those wounds. Nope. Okay. Second yeah. volley plus one per pistol. Yeah. Two Dakas. Three hits. And no wounds. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna sit here and do now is I think that's it for my all my shooting. All we did was set up. We're gonna go into the charges. The four-man unit right here. Okay. So uh, they, they did do the. They did do six. this. What's it called? Yeah, yeah. I so meant to say one. that they're doing that. Fine. They lost the one. Put that model back. Let me think. I'm putting it away. <laughs> All right. So I'm not uh, overwatching. So. Okay. Nine inch. Nope. Reroll this because here we go. Uh, got it. Did here we go? I it's one it or both dice. I thought I got it. If you did. No. Never mind. So they got it in. Mm -hmm. So two, 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 two. So eleven. Alright, so that's one unit with kill sauce. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. The second squad. They will here we go this. And make it again. <laughs> Alright. A lot of eleven inch charges here. We're just gonna do some move blocking. Then this boy's gonna do it. Here we go. All right, you didn't make all three nine-inch charges. <laughs> that makes me feel a little better. All right, so let me think here. What else do I got? Just activations. Mm -hmm. This five man will activate first. Sure. So, renovation. Mm -hmm. And then there, I'm gonna initiate the wobbly here. Right there, this guy's right there. Everyone should be able to swing. Just can't use. Right there, plop, and plop. Yep. 
And now, how many attacks do the Storm Boys make? Oh, they're gonna have three attacks each. So 12 attacks coming in, so yep. four AP dash. It, yep. I could spend a command point for plus one save against those, but it's possible that two kill saws actually gets the work done by themselves, so I think I'll just let it happen. Okay. So, kill saw time first. Death skulls. Two hits. hits. Twos. Two wounds, AP minus four. Strength 10. Yep. That's pretty good. AP so four. one bike is down. Um, Vin. So there's only three attacks. Drew Drew is gifting five subs. Thank you, Drew Drew. Thank you, Drew. Awesome. Really appreciate that support. Oh, Oxapocalypse also just subscribed. Again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Two wounds. Just two, two saves. saves. Really appreciate that. We're good. Okay. Do you care to interrupt before? Well, let me do my prior lens. Yeah, do your consolidates. So if I interrupt, I could potentially kill um, the four man unit. Um, it's not really guaranteed or anything. He's got a six of invul. Um, so certainly not a gimme. Um, and the knob is uh, two wounds, right? Two wounds. So I'd have to do five wounds to get rid of the kill saw. Yep. Getting rid of the kill saw. Or would six or for the four man, yeah. Yeah, it's the four man. So getting rid of the kill saw would theoretically be the best case scenario. But because I don't have my plus two attacks, I think I'm going to let it go. Um, I'm not really willing to spend a lot of command points on this. Okay. Um, he might kill both um, Outriders here, but it also feels relatively likely that I have an Outrider left. Yep. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Okay. So it looks like I'm only going to be able to get three models in. This guy's not going to do it. Okay. All right. So we'll start off with that kill saw. Sure. Three attacks. Death Skulls. Three, three hits. hits. Very nice. Death Skulls, you got three minus four, two damage. All right, so there's one guy left and he's wounded. And then there's uh, attacks from the normal boys. Yep, only two guys, so six, four hits, and one wound. Three up armor, uh, we failed. So there's one guy left with one wound here. Um, and this squad has already activated, this one hasn't. So there's no way that you're gonna wrap me, so I'm not gonna have to spend any command points. We're just gonna leave this one model here left. Okay. Uh, which does involve pulling a sergeant, which isn't a big deal because I'm going to be falling back from this combat anyway. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so pylons. Yeah, consolidate as you please. We'll touch him. Sure. And he will go ahead and swing back on the four-man squad. Yep. Now, I also got to figure out at the end of the game if I want to, like, in the turn, do I want to fight again? But no. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> there is, by all means, well, there is that option. So he's a normal Primaris. He's got a shock assault, he's got a chain switch. So just four attacks, he's hitting the four man squad. Okay. Just trying to whittle it down. Uh, that'll be Master Artisans. Just two hits, wounded on fours. We'll reroll that. Just one AP one. Six up, take one. All right, so we got one storm by out. Nothing crazy. All right, okay. Anything else coming my way? That is it. I am passing turn to you. Okay. That's going to be uh, I will take a morale front. check, just in yep. case uh, something insane happens. Because you rolled the, what's, you yeah. took the weight sergeant. Yeah, so uh, he, he's good, he makes that. Yep. So Mark has raised three banners. I've raised three banners. I'm at five CP. You're going to. Okay. This scout squad is less than 13. Okay. So if I move six directly towards you, I will be less than six. Gotcha. So you're going to seven CP. Yep. Okay. Vin. Sink your guts. So right now I'm just gonna fall back this outrider. Um, I've got. 12 inches of movement because I'm going through this forest. So we're gonna go six out to here and then six up. Just try to create a little bit more screening. Mark, you have no tricks that would allow you to heroically intervene, correct? No tricks. No. All right, we'll go ahead and touch the forest just so that one, I'm on the objective. Two, um, it is uh, minus one to hit from the random orc shooting, just that it'll take a little effort to knock him off. You can probably get it done, but it'll take some work. Now I do want to try to deal with these mega knobs any way that I can. So let me just see what is going on here. I'm just measuring out some ranges to see what I could potentially shoot. So these are Palanite Enforcers from Necromunda. I use them because I think they better represent the Primaris aesthetic. They're also just really sick. Like they're they're, cool they're really good looking models. I'm a big fan of them. They're so much better than the, you know, scout the models are actually like really iconic and really cool, but these guys look yeah. sick. This uh, Storm will advance. Yeah. No one has OPSEC. Did you do your ever litany? Uh, no, I didn't. We're gonna plus one to hit the um, Inceptors. Okay. Uh, Master Sanctity. We're good. Yeah. So, pass both. So they're plus okay. one hit and wound close to target, visible targets. So they should do some work. 
Um, really shouldn't have given them plus one to wound because every all of this is <laughs> d4. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so this guy is moving 24 inches. If you could, um, 24 right there is where you got it marked. Well, that's convenient. You gonna try to get me off of that objective? I'm going to try to shoot you to death. Okay. As soon as possible. It's a big part of the game plan. We're just gonna measure out now a couple of nine inch measurements just to see where Mark could come in. Now within, you could come in within an inch of your own edge. Yep. And that wouldn't be a problem, but that would also probably, with 24 inch range on your um, Tank busters and yeah, stuff like that. This is just, just within an inch, so. 24 off of that is um, very avoidable. No, I'm gonna leave those out there for a little bit. Okay. Um, Cause yes, I would certainly, prefer if this turn ended with there being a lot less mega knobs than there are currently in front of me. Um, we'll see if that works out. He gets yep. two points on engage in all fronts. Yes sir, he does. All right, so what we're gonna need to do, so right now I'm just doing that to screen out, that's an empty land spear storm, I'm not as concerned about it. Mark does have plenty of shooting that he can bring in. So I'm thinking that these Plasma Scepters should be able to kill here. Let's see here. Um, this has already moved. Okay. Army boys! So I've just got to, I've really got to respect the fact that Mark does have all these reserves coming in. Really, okay. so I kind of need to decide where the Inceptors are going before the Captain does anything. This any. is for Marker. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just advance okay. this aggressive unit. That's something where I know what it's doing. Um, just one. So it's going to go six inches directly forward. Just want to shoot some mega knobs. Yeah, I'm not expecting much from them. Uh, you know, you've got a two up armor safe. Yep. Um, but you know, it's it's a non-zero number of shots here. Okay. Could arrive within uh. 24. 24 of them. We're gonna shuffle it back like that. Okay. Alrighty here. Then I think um the outriders are gonna go 14 inches up. Yep. Again, not advancing here, just that I've got the extra uh, bolt guns, because they do have AP. I could inflict some more damage on those mecha knobs, potentially. All right, so next up here, um, I do have to keep in mind all of this, these, um, these annoying little guys right here. I, I do want to take care of that problem. Um, now, obviously, that gentleman will not be shooting, but I can probably just get a lot of plinky firepower downfield. Um, Question is going to be what units are going to be the ones best suited to that role. Because he is objective secured here, I do really want to kill this Stormboy unit. Because these one, two, three, he so does have. Should be on there. Yeah, he does have a, at least one model from each unit on that objective. Yep. So it should be currently six. So it should be so four man unit and then two, one, two so you, from the front yeah, or the, the other four man because they lost one. Dude, yeah, the, the goal is to kill you here certainly more so than it is um to just like contest it. Um, so that could involve me putting because the aggressors are going to be out of range. That could involve me putting a couple of um attacks here yeah um but i do have to kind of be cognizant of the fact that these boys can advance and charge yep so i don't want to go too aggressive is this model in the farthest back unit uh should be this should be the five man three okay. models here and then the free man here got it so that would models. be my point to be in range of uh both of those okay and i can always use a scorpius to overcorrect if i need to that's one of the great strengths of scorpius so i could move this unit up here just something to keep in mind yep um Go 24 inches up there, you wouldn't be able to reach this spot from anywhere that I can see. That spot. All right, so we're just going to cross some. Um, so let's um, go ahead and move the, um, they're plus one to hit right now. 10 inches of movement. I have that set up for a reason. So if I were to just fly up to here. That would be enough to reach and see that unit. Now, this boy unit here, they move. They they move five base. That's a bread, my base. Okay, so that's over my twenty-one base. inches away. So, so if I you were to roll a six, roll a six, he would then have a ten-inch charge. Yep. So relatively unlikely that that boy unit is able to get all the way into this inceptor. Um, certainly, we would we would hope not. I think um, with twenty-one inches, I might adjust this a little bit more. I've got a little more room there. 
Okay, so we're gonna just set these scouts up. If I do, they'll be visible from that side though, so we, we don't wanna make that too easy. Um, I think in here. Just eyeballing this, making sure I'm doing everything right before I uh, get too hasty. Yep. Um, because I would also like to, um, since I can see those mo I I just need like true line of sight. True line of sight, yeah. So I could get one model to see that way, depending on uh, how I want to approach this, or I could be a little more defensive, honestly. Just decide here. Just deciding. Um. Basically, I could just commit the plasma scepters here and do nothing else. Then I have to use a Scorpius or other tools to deal with those mecha knobs, which would be annoying. You know, I would rather the mecha knobs not be there, all things considered. Um, so I'm just kind of deciding how this turn's going to go, because the Inceptor unit's going to determine what the rest of the, ar the army does, because if I'm setting up a self-sacrifice, I need to kind of have that planned out now. So right now it should be two models can reach the back squad. I think pretty safely. Okay. And then these two here should be pretty good to go. Trying to force John at that back, that really on that back foot. Me taking that first turn allowed me to pressure him with my reserves. I would come in the next turn possibly. Um, and really strain his his number of units that he has to screen with, because he can't continuously screen because his less. Isn't like crazy MSU. It has a good number of units, but it's not on mass. Yeah. And um, go ahead. Oh, and I'm just saying that uh, you did not kill a unit this turn, which yep. does help with me. Um, for grind it down. For grind it down. You should get grind it down no matter what. Like every Yeah, so right now I could shoot two here, two there. Yep. And I would kind of hope with plus one to hit, plus one to win, that would be enough. Um, and then that would just get me one model shooting into those. Yep. This wouldn't be the worst thing. And he's actually probably the closest visible for that model. These guys, it would be these units. Mark, what is it to you? So I outflanked the free tank plus the units with a bomb swing each, mm -hmm. two tractor cannons, and I teleported the uh, Death Dread mob. So they deep strike and they're all going to come down and set up all within six inches of each other. It's eradicated little hits. Yeah. So that's what their job is really just like pushing on this, like taking advantage of the salamanders lacking a little bit in uh, mobility. Like they have some good, like they're still birds, they have mobility. But it's not like white scars, blood angels. They can't be all over the place really fast. I know as soon as I take that board control, it's a lot harder for his list to get places to grab it. Definitely when I take away like the storms and the outriders, his army becomes a lot slower. Is that over your man? Yes. All right. Just making sure they all have range. The uh, incursors here will advance. Okay. It's just going seven. This should be more conservative to plasma scepters so that he doesn't outflank off that board edge and shoot them, I think. Yeah. I think that's probably the safer play, actually. Mind if I just bump him back? Yeah, go ahead, dude. Right, so let's do that. Are so you do he a can... Probably not. So he can still deep strike these Killacans. Death Dreads? Death Dreads. They're, they're, they look like Killacans. They're happy, happy converters. Killacans to me. Um, the AP on your um, Tractus is AP2. Uh, AP2. So pretty solid, but if I'm in cover, I'll have a Forp save against it. So right there, plus one to hit means I have no need to overcharge. Um, I'm not in a possible charge range from the boys. And I know there are, are ten boys in there. Yep. So I'm well aware of that. So you gotta respect that a little bit. I'm respecting it, yeah. Trying to respect it, and I do still have this um this storm to move as well. Okay. So I've got options that I can do with that. This will probably just go outwards and try to help with the screening effort, so then this captain will... Here. Okay. And I think, um... <laughs> Great. Y'all are, are my favorites. I love you. I like one big solid unit. Almost like World Leaders, Emperor's Children, uh, Black Legion, Iron Warriors. All of them are like one, one big unit because they can do shenanigans with them. Shenanigans? Shenanigans. I don't like multiple squads. I like the one big can of flutter, shove down your throat, force your opponent to deal with cultists. That's very chaosy. Mm -hmm. Um. 
All right, so we're good there. The um, Indominus Lieutenant will um, uh, advance. Yeah. The Scorpius is currently not covered by the Captain. Okay. Just is what I'm measuring. I'm not going to reposition to make that happen. Chaplain will advance. Okay, and then the storm becomes the final question. Poor lone outrider's like, why am I here? <laughs> yeah, he's doing a job, you know what? He's got a job to do. Um, I could fly out. The storm would almost certainly die if I do that. If I go into an interesting spot, I could do something here. Um, there's really not that much I could do. Honestly, what I'm thinking about is if I use the scouts to block where he can disembark these boys. Because the scouts are going to try to charge. I've got a six inch charge there. I could do the storm to block off another aspect. Um, some options, but I think, um, cause if he outflanks within six inches of a board edge, well, I'm not within, he won't be able to outflank over here and shoot there. The cans can deep strike, but I think I'm just, um, I think I'm just gonna be taking that unfortunately and we'll see how it goes. But um, I think then that the storm, um, I don't really want to just throw the storm away is the thing. So what it might do instead is um, I've got this part screened out so where he could deep strike right there. If I go there it would push out a little bit at 24 inch range on the death dreads? Yep. Okay. So 36 on the big kudos. Yeah. And I've got 18 inches of movement. Um, interesting choices here. Uh, thinking a little bit. Try to put you in a harvest spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you did. A, you had a good first turn. Um, I think we're just gonna back up and save this storm to potentially pull off shenanigans in the later. Okay. Um, I don't think it needs to be part of the screening effort. I just don't want it to get auto charged by these boys and give you free movement. You'd have to push the war boss really aggressively for that. So I think what we're gonna do is just hop right here, inch away. Yeah. I can still charge after this. Oh, uh, no, there are boys there. Oh, so many choices. Stormer's right here. Um, no, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not making any incorrect decisions. Which is the um, the kill saw? Kill saw is the sergeant, yeah. Right there. And, the, and the, and the actual uh, kill saw? I, I have no idea what a kill saw looks like. I'm just being honest with you here. <laughs> um, okay, so he actually couldn't get within half an inch of that model anyway. So I think we're just going to zoom out here. Get some shooting. I can charge these boys in the kill cell. Won't be able to swing this turn if that is something I need to do. We'll see how the shooting phase goes. Alrighty, here. So let's um go ahead and uh, get ready to rumble. Yep. Um, there is no psychic phase. So shooting phase. Let's start off with uh, things we know. Okay. Um, we're gonna start off by shooting these eradicators right into that unit. Gotcha. Forest advance. A lot of stuff. I minus one to hit. Yep. So these are the six shots. Um, I am going to captain this and artisan that for five hits. I wound on twos. I've got a lieutenant involved, uh, APV four. So six up in bones. Uh, one more save. One more save. Five go for There are three wounds each. Four, yeah, three, four go for Three wounds uh, each. Three wounds each. One dies. One dies. Two die. Two die, and they everyone should be just dead. dead. Yeah. Was it this unit or this unit? That unit. The next Eradicator squad will target the next one. Okay. They also advance during a forest, etc. Um, we'll artisan this. Nope. Three hits. Twos. Three. Six pendulums. One, two, three. Three. Dead. 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 All right. Six man so far. Let's go ahead and do plasma scepters. We're going to do two here, three here. Okay. Two here. Um, I'm plus one to hit, minus one to hit from the forest. Um, I'm plus one to wound the closest visible, so we're actually going to reverse. We're going to do the three into this unit first, and we're not going to overcharge. Gotcha. Um, here we go. So we're looking at 11 shots. Uh, hitting on threes, and we will uh, reroll one of them. Wounding on twos. We'll reroll. One of them. Okay. Okay. This is on the Six boys. up and bones on the front Stormboy unit. They are totally gone. Cool. Next Stormboy squad. Yep. Taking eight shots. I've already used both of my artists in rerolls. Yep. Um, six hits. Six in bone saves. Six in bone saves. Yes, please. Question about mm -hmm. 
saves? Yeah, so six invulnerable saves, not three. Six, sorry. Yeah, no problem. Three more. Take there it is. So my personal interpretation of eradicators is that you select models to shoot a second time. Models in the unit can shoot twice. Um, I believe that means that the unit is not selected a second time, and therefore I only get one reroll with uh, Master Artisans. Now, I totally understand if someone were to rule that a different way at a GT. I think it's very inconsistently worded. However, I personally am choosing to believe that I, I cannot do such a thing. All right. We're going to put um, Scorpius Volley number one into that Mega Knob unit. Okay. Uh, your toughness. Four. Okay, so I've got one reroll to hit. If I do plus one to wound, I'll be wounding you on two as I've got the Lieutenant reroll. We're just going to keep it. Okay. First Volley is seven shots. Pretty happy with that. Hitting on threes, I'll have one reroll. I do not have the captain here. One reroll. Seven hits. Threes. threes. I have a lieutenant, and I'll use the one artisan reroll. Yep. So that'll be five AP minus three. Five AP minus three. So we're touching, so we're getting four ups. We're good. That's nice. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do it again. Um, six shots. It. Arm. That was yeah. the six more. Six more. Now he's gonna fail all six. Reverse. Now he so fails four. Kill two dudes. Okay. So there's one man left. Yep. I'm gonna argue if I want to leave the power claw or the kill assault left. Um. Probably just going to leave the one. We're gonna leave one kill assault guy left. This is okay. the AP minus four. That flat two damage is interesting because I can make it flat three damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, the bolts are aggressors and the outriders and that storm have nothing to shoot at. Uh, that storm should be able to 39 inch to those boys. Yeah, yeah. Heavy bolter. Uh, advanced, advanced. Okay. So not doing anything. Um, really just then have left. Um, these shouldn't have any shots. They're all close combat. He fell back from combat. I think I've just got a storm left and then we're going to look at charges. Okay. So I can try to thin down this unit if I really want to. Problem is that if I charge it, there's the possibility that Mark piles in and consolidates onto an objective, which is something I did not consider previously and should have. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot them with the um, the storm and just see what effect that has. Gotcha. And I think we're just going to let them exist at that point. We're gotcha. just going to try to thin it down for future. Uh, forgot about that, unfortunately, so that storm's placement is a little bit off. This is a blast. Just one shot. It's one safe. One safe. AP is invul. Invul, dude. Heavy bolter, three hits. That's a great point. Two more shots there, so. Well, let me finish the heavy bolter, sorry. Uh, Reroll that. Three saves from the heavy bolter. Take three. One more. One more. Okay. Five total? Five total. Not bad. If I'd had a second volley with Scorpius, I might put it there to try to finish them off, but I think I'm gonna be content with them losing five models. Um, there is always the possibility of charging, but I think at this point, not really worth it. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna charge the scouts into this truck. Okay. Six in charge. Um, six will do. Yep. As discussed. So that'll just get me within an inch. Really, the goal here is to put more models on this than Mark has. This is going to keep him to five primary and take away another banner. Yep. Really don't want Mark to get a lot of points on this. Okay. So the pile in. Um, yep. I have no other charges, and you don't have any other shenanigans. Nope. Really don't want to charge that man. <laughs> <laughs> that would um, probably be not a good idea. The captain could do it. Actually, let me just. What would the captain's charge be? My base right there? Uh, less than 10. That's a 9. I'm gonna just see what happens. No, we're not gonna reroll it. Not gotcha. worth it. If the man's alive, the man's alive. It'll probably come kill some scouts, and that will be annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, and I'm just gonna pile in to make sure that I'm on this quarter entirely for okay. the purpose of um, the secondary that I want to be on that side. Okay. So making sure I'm just going past the center away. point of the objective. Okay. And I'm assuming that that will suffice. Yeah. And I'm not going to engage the storm boys. Okay. So combats. I'm gonna hit you first. How many um? What's the toughness on? It's toughness five or six. On uh, what the, the, the truck? truck is yeah, the truck's the only thing I can swing on. I believe they are T six. Maybe T five. Let me check real fast. No, I'm not doing any strats anyway. Yeah, four up safe. Yeah. Um, just because honestly, if I accidentally kill it, Mark will get the squad out. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to kill a truck, but there, there's no real reason to 
expend resources yeah, here. Yeah, that's T6. Um, your toughness is, yeah, it's just got fives. So just uh, three. Four ups, take two. Okay. Me... Where's the six inch point from the center? Because I just want to be right up against it. Let's measure. I'm gonna just try to be 6.1 from the center again, just to make sure that I'm getting maximum screening without losing a point. Okay. Great. All right, so that will do for my turn. Um, could you take a morale check on those five boys? Leadership seven. They're good. On a one, they pass. Can't argue with that. Nope. All right, All right, so at the very least, I have been able to disrupt Marcus Banners, which is very important for me. Yep. So he'll get one point on Raise the Banners. I should get the Killmore. You got Killmore. You got graded down. I'll get five points on Primary. It's the leadership on a Meganob. Uh, Meganob basically went at six. They only lost two. Can't fail. They can totally oh, they can't fail. fail. They can absolutely fail. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Not on the two. Two is enough. Two is enough. The reason why it's that, because of uh, I don't have a... Uh... Character nearby? Nope. I don't have... No, I, don't, I took away the scar squad sergeant. I'm out of the kill squad, dude. Oh, I see. All right. So I'm going up to 6 CP. Okay. Huh. Just checking out. Looks like that's going to be going in there. Okay. So, what to do, what to do. John, yes. Are LOS ignoring weapons crucial to this kind of strategy? I personally think so. I think that the Whirlwind Scorpius is very, very valuable. I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to get a lot of use out of it in this game. So, I also got to do this truck close combat. Ah, that truck. It should be based. I don't know for what relevance hits. that is. Okay. It hits on fives? Yep. One wound. Death skulls, though. Two wounds. Strength five? Yep. Good for it. Um, I do fail two. <laughs> you got to take leadership now. Uh, I'm leadership eight, so I won't be able to fail. You're good. I did not. Did lose his argent. No, because I just want to have more models on that objective than Mark does, <laughs> and that's enough for me. All right. So the basic stuff over here is I'm just going to go grab this objective. Yep. Those boys should be able to clean out that outrider pretty quickly, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, they're just there to really aid with the screening process. Uh, unfortunately, the storm went over there anyway, which probably was a bit of a blunder on my part, but we're going to just take it. And is there somewhere that the guys in chat can easily find a schedule? Yeah, it's on theartofwar40k.com to be the third post currently up. Or on any of our social medias. I've posted quite a few places. So, mm -hmm. we've got a sink here. So, the next game is actually going to be tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'm going to do my chance real quick. Yeah. Um, and we're going to, Captain's going to make himself obsec. Okay. Um, so, we'll just go ahead and do the chaplain chant. Uh, we'll do the aura of heroic intervention. Yep. These three? They look like they're good to me. I can pull a different model if you want, but I've got three fine, models on the objective and yeah, I, I think it's good. I think it just looks off because um, two are on top floor and one's on bottom floor. Yeah. They're all meant to be on the bottom floor. They're just placed there so it's easier visuals. Okay. So really this turn, I drop any reserves. Like it's just going to be extra plink damage. I do switch into tactical doctor. Naturally. Oh. Not that there was much of a choice in the matter, but I am <laughs> doing it. Can you get a 6 inch heroic intervention on the... I can do 2d6. 2d6. Yep. Okay. So what I need to consider there is where does this guy go? Pick up this thing. Obsec that. Or does he go try to kill some scouts, put more obsec there with like the storm boys coming in. And uh, try to go from there. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to just mostly just base the rest of my movement off first. And Captain Badrook, just gonna go right here. You trying to get line of sight to something? Yeah, he's just gonna come out to here. Okay. He's just gonna shoot at that storm. Tragic. Yep. That storm is very valuable to me. Five inches, he'll touch the terrain, just because it does matter for him a little bit. Okay. Because I do need a screen too. You do, I do have reserves. Okay. Just have the one unit of flame regressors, but that is enough potential damage that Mark will want to keep it in mind. Yep. And you don't want to casually take that in the face because it, it could be highly detrimental. So let's say I got these guys out. Okay, eight, I can advance, D6, reroll that if needed. 
It's not a crazy good charge there. Do you want to just look at total distance? Yeah, it's over you... 24 from the scout, so just not happening really. Not a great, yeah. Now the Storm Boys have some plays there. Really, I just want to limit that primary. Um, mm -hmm. it comes down to, like, if I set up over here trying to kill all these scouts, with some maybe possible plink sh shooting. Mm -hmm. Let me set up some dice for ranges. Yep. So yeah, that base. storm going out like that is really useful because now he will be able to reach some of my units, but he probably won't be able to get many aggressors or gravis armor. He could totally shoot at the outriders or the scouts. Then he is almost certainly getting counterattacked by said gravis models, and that could potentially be bad for Mark, unless he's just willing to trade the resources in the hopes of killing a scout unit. Which is, again, a not unreasonable proposition. Okay. So, this thing just needs to die, though. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> true. Yep. Unfortunately, it wasn't white scars, so I couldn't make it minus one to hit. Uh, something that I've used before with my storms, but these are salamanders, and uh, they put out a lot of damage. Uh, I am happy that I was able to clear a lot of the stuff that Mark threw at me turn one. It did present me with a good number of threats, but uh, luckily I was able to take a decent chunk of them down. But certainly not all of them. Yep. So the truck is moving without the boys disembarking? Yep. Okay. They're going to stay right there. Sounds great to me. Boom. Um, if I get out, the thing is they can also go over there and charge, which I'm tempted to do. Uh, you got the flamer aggressors I also need to screen out for. <laughs> so if they go right there. I do have flamer aggressors. So let me sink here. Mm -hmm. If I go over there, this just allows me to reliably, between Captain Badrock and them, to try to pick up that lane speeder storm. Mm -hmm. uh, and take the truck and just... Move it around a little bit more to be a screen of our places. I'm gonna probably take a tractor can and put it like right here to be a screen. Yep. Uh, to keep those flame regressors in check. Absolutely. Really, yeah, you really can't let those flame regressors just go in check. They do inflict a lot of damage. So Mark's gonna be very careful to make sure that I don't get any really solid placements. Yep. Now, uh, let me check here. They can overwatch, you have a buddy overwatch system. I do is... have a two command point buddy overwatch. Yes. So anything that you charge over here could potentially allow the aggressors to shoot. Okay. In addition to the unit itself potentially firing our watch, and I have seven command points at the moment. They're in strategic reserves, they'll be outflanking. So. That's true, I can't outflank inside your deployment zone turn too. Yep. If that affects your screens at all. Really, I think what we're gonna do Hold those guys off. Okay. I'm just not gonna worry about fighting for this check yet. Okay. Um. I think what we can do is get these boys out though. Okay. So they're gonna disembark three and then move eight. You think yep. about advancing as well? Nah, just gonna safety because I want to be able to shoot off at least fives. So and they got a pretty reliable yeah charge there. With that orc reroll, it's a pretty good charge. Yep. So he's just trying to gut the uh, the land speeder storm now, just to clear away my resources on this side of the board, it looks like. Yep. <laughs> to... I'm not blocking this truck movement. I am tempted to take these storm boys and jump them into this truck to save them from being shot at next turn. Um, There's no limit on the infantry it can hold? It can hold, they count as two models each. It can hold oh, Okay, so it can hold five. Yeah. Very easily then. So... We do that. Sounds pretty solid. Okay. Um. Let's sink here. Yeah, we'll do that. They'll jump into there. Okay. So he still has five storm boys that he uh, is conserving for later, because I would have to kill that truck to dig them out. Yep. What are you thinking about uh, as far as uh, the mega knob and then the rest of the reserves? So. I'm going to be probably bringing in one tank buster just to confirm this land speeder storm kill. Of course. Um, I'm probably just going to put it over here, put the bomb squig probably on like an aggressor. It's the range of a bomb uh, squig. No, it's 18, so I can't get range out of yeah. one. No, I don't, it's shorter than the rocket, right? Okay, I believe he is shorter than the rocket, so that's okay. not happening there. But it could go after an outrider. Yeah, totally. Because uh, it can't actually shoot at the storm. Because it is the fly keyword? Yep. Heck yeah. That's uh, obviously hey part of my plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. You gotta watch out for those bomb squigs, folks. They deadly. So he goes right there. All he's doing is setting up for like a six-inch charge. Okay. Very realistic charge there. Yep. And that just allows me to pick up some extra models. Um, and I can really hurt that. That I can just hurt that units. Mm -hmm. Um, 
And that means if he doesn't charge into like charge me, mm -hmm. or if he doesn't heroic me, I can control this objective. Yep. I could also drop like. Well, you you probably won't control the objective. I assume that you'll not be there by the end of my turn. Well, no, no, I'm saying for, stop you from controlling. Oh, objective. okay. Yeah, that's much more realistic. Yep. Which would really limit your primary too. Mm -hmm. Which Certainly would. is what I need to do. I think. Okay. Um. So let's think here. I gotta move the rest of these boys first. Of course. They're going to advance. First, I gotta move this truck, actually. This truck just gotta do this. <laughs> okay. Just uh, bumping out a little bit, trying to provide a little bit of a screen. Yep. So, boom. He does wanna be more like this, just to block that. Of course. And, um, yeah. Cool. All right. So they rolled an eight. Just going all over here. Mm -hmm. Hey Mark, why not Commando? So I was testing out them. The one thing is I don't have the elite slots, and I like the extra mobility that the Storm Boys get. Like you saw that turn one plays. They're also great. Really, they're really good early game and late game. Mid game they suffer in, uh, but they just give me flexible plays, and I like that. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay. All they're gonna do. Go over here, make a little pathway for him to go into. Then, setting to make sure that Bad Rook's not just gonna get Scorpius sniped. Mm -hmm. Two. Eight, eight, eight. Let's free back dudes. Right here. Absolutely. They're just gonna go. Not that full distance. And just move, walk on up. Mm -hmm. And be happy. Do, do, so, do, do. Right now, I'm, I'm really just waiting to see where Mark's reserves come in. That's the most important thing to me. As expected, these scouts are about to get overrun by a mob of 30 orc boys. I frankly wasn't planning on those uh, scouts being alive at the end of Mark's turn. Um, I figured something was going to come to take care of business. So those orc boys should be able to charge, kill them very efficiently. Uh, really, it's... Right now, I'm looking at my responses, and it looks like Mark's going to very easily be on three objectives. Uh, if he knocks me off of this, I assume I'll be able to kill that Mega Knob without too much trouble. But um, now I'm just thinking, like, how am I going to be able to try to limit Mark's primary? Because he's setting up a good turn where he's going to really try to limit my own primary. Um, which, if he is successful, uh, obviously, would be pretty good for him. So right now, he's just setting up one tank buster unit, it looks like. Yep. Just the one? Just the one. Just nine inches off. We're just going to sit up here. Okay. You thinking the bomb squig on the uh, the outriders? I'm gonna put the bomb squig on the outriders because that's the only real target it has. Totally. Um, I have considered putting a second unit of tank buses here, but I'm really just not gonna worry about it too much. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I do want to limit. I said I say words. Mm -hmm. Limit. Um, uh, the number of models. If I can knock you off of this one, that's what I'm trying to think about. How yeah, that's do gonna that. be the interesting part. So if they go here. Yep. Um. There, bomb squid goes there. This guy's tempted to actually just go this way. To make it where if he charges in, he has someone else to go after. Is he, I, is he's, he's how I also get free points on engaging all fronts. Mm -hmm. uh, at this he does need to stage. be alive for that. He <laughs> does have to be alive for that, which is what I'm trying to beat around. Of course. All right. So check, check. Looking. No one else. We are going to bring one tractor cannon in just to make sure the storm dies. Okay. Um, you hope. One would hope. So this has to be wholly within six of the table edge, right? Yep. So, I'm just going to go right there. Free Harper. Okay. So just setting up one more shot onto that uh, storm just to try yep. to get the damage done. Make sure that my backfield is all screened up properly from free aggressors. Yep. They're good. Oh, he can't. That's true. Accurate. Okay. This one tractor cannon is tempted to go over here just to screen out here, just as a insurance in case those boys need to go over there. That makes sense. More yeah. models over there. It would be a great spot for the aggressors to go. Yep. So something I'm eyeballing, certainly. Um just what I just do not want. But currently he can't go. I think I can keep that pretty easily. Okay. So you think you got a safe uh your safety? Yep. Okay. All he's gonna do. 
honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead set up here and just set up the safety to kill that. Okay. I really that's need to kill that. Second that's, that's, yeah. that's a difference of five points, and that just needs to happen. Certainly. And this is a good firing angles for both of them. Mm -hmm. Um, makes sense I'll to take. me. All right, so psyche phase, nothing impressive. Not worth perils. Okay. Um, shooting phase. Shooting phase, we're gonna start on over here. And we're putting our five rocket launchers here. Yep. And our one squi squig right there. Sure. Using any stratagems? Um, what's up? Any stratagems? No. No? No. Okay. So this is so, just a squig? Bomb squig right there. Twos. Daka. Two hits. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just reroll that one. Two ones. AP. Uh, two. I feel both. First one. Wins I can reroll that because death skulls. Five. Okay. So it kills the model. Second one. Two model. Two ones. Okay. So he does wound, kill and wound an outrider. Very nice. All right. Right here on the disc land speeder. Your tank, our vehicles will be real hit rolls. So we get two Daka Dakas. Oh, uh, why two? Oh, sorry. Just one, actually. So one. one more hit Let roll. me just do that. Your tank. No. Okay. So two hits. Two hits. Death skills. Did you use Tumos. one on the reroll to wound the? No, re, re you rolled one to wound and you rerolled it. Did I? Okay, go ahead. Sorry, bring her. Only one wound. Then. So AP. I did not. Go ahead. Right. Okay. okay. AP two. Yep. Oh, it's damage one. Fails the save. Fails the save. Flat this flat free. All right. Let's take this tractor cannon and shoot it. Auto hits. Wounds. Nope. That's a CP. Can't you um, not use stratagems on Grox? It's not. You can't use the orc tractor. Oh, you can't. You can't use orc ones. Yeah. Got it. So you're gonna. Why did the bomb squid hit on the twos? Uh, they just have a ballista skill of two. Exactly. But they're once per game. They're gone. <laughs> the bomb squig is very amusing. Uh, wounds. Okay. Copy two. Make the save. Eh. The next one. It wounds. Warp fire me. No. Five damage. Kills you. Does it not auto matter. Oh, yeah. No one nearby anyway. Yeah. Yep. Tractor cannons auto blowing up storms. Sad. I tried to take it, folks, but uh, unfortunately, it just fell short. Yep. Needed a low damage there. All right, so got that. We're just gonna shoot here. We're gonna fire all the shooter boys into the lance or the uh, outrider. Sure. So we got four shooter boys there and with one pista. Yeah, it will be on sixes. Yep. Death skulls, Daka, nothing. Okay, reroll the wound with death skulls. Oh, yeah. One wound. There you go. Outrider down. All right. Sad I asked. <laughs> We're going to do the next one, the next 10 boys into that Lanespear Storm. Sure. Death Skulls. This is the first volley. Yep. Two Dakas. Fives. Death Skulls. Two wounds. One more. Take both. So make both. Make okay, both. make both. I'm like, yeah. take both. I'm like, don't you have a four? <laughs> make both. <laughs> Second volley plus a pistol. Plus a pistol. Can't forget those pistols, folks. Five hits. Two, three, two wounds. Do make both. Make both so storm's still kicking. Yep. But uh, there could theoretically be some combat in my future. All right, bad Rex gonna shoot it. Oh no. Oh, he moves, so he's sitting on fives. Not like this. Reroll ones and reroll one of his own because of the helper. Wait a bit. Oh, he rerolls ones. He rerolls ones and ones naturally. He gets one for you. That's cool. It doesn't help when you don't sort it. Don't worry about that part. He's alive! <laughs> He's alive! For a short amount of time. Yeah. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. All right. So, let's think here. What do I do next? Do I just try to go to pick up those guys? If he does the 2d6 heroic with like these, that's a big movement phase. So I really don't want to do that. Those guys just going to stay camp me right here. Got yeah. Oh. Uh, we're going to do some charges with the... Dead man? Hmm. Eight. Ooh. Here we go. All right, eight definitely makes it. You got my hopes up there, folks, but uh, alas, it seems that the storm is getting... Um, do both ten mans have um, sergeant stuff? Yep, they both have kill saws. So kill saws all over the place, so... And a knob is what, three attacks each? Three attacks. Okay, so definitely looking like... Uh, so make sure you can't come over there. Yeah, of course. The goal is to screen out the aggressors there. Yep. Yeah, you look like you're fine right now. Yep. So measure now. Okay. Half an inch. Make sure everyone can get swings. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible that the storm kills Next all ten of them, but it's not likely. So first one, it's gotta go. 
is this knob because he wants to get within one inch but i want to say i can just take this dude get that half inch yep boom just um, pushing a little farther up so just clarifying some stuff for the heroic conventions everyone within six inches of the chaplain can perform a three inch heroic convention and yeah. if i use a two command point stratagem that. for boring protectors I can fire Overwatch after a unit within 12 of me is charged and then perform a 2d6 inch heroic intervention. Yep. So the boys are going to the scouts. They're in. Okay. <laughs> you didn't forget the scouts. That was the only hope I had. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really blend in. They're bright blue and white. So uh, shouldn't be shocked by that one. There's no holes in this one, so that's fine. Yeah, you can get relatively close without it. Yep. Being too detrimental. Make sure that Kill Saul's got that range. Of course. And we're going to make sure that we're going to set up a little bit right here, wobbly there, to set up this war boss to get that extra movement. Okay. So that the war boss can declare the charge. Yep. Just because if he makes it, he'll get a little extra movement, as yep. Mark is mentioning. So. Do, do, do. Right. Okay. They're all there, boom. They're happy they're acting as an anchor. You could push these guys a little bit more. Mm -hmm. yeah. War boss going in. An 11, that's certainly enough. He's that right is here. a very motivated war boss. Yep. So he's coming to connect, trying to kill that unit of scouts. All right. So that's gonna be it for my charges. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and start off with the uh, mega or the killer goal. War boss, all hit. Reroll because of death skulls, or just reroll because itself, it's AP a lot. Yeah, he's, they're all dead. Okay. Scouts go down. Uh, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> dead. They're, they're very dead. All right, okay. I'm not gonna interrupt if you wish to proceed with. Things. Yep. So what we're gonna do is start off with that 10 man first. Okay. Because the five man is the best for pushing out for screens. Of course. So kill us all. Duff skulls, two, two hits. Your T five. Five. Two's the wound then. Yeah, it's got three wounds left. Uh, yep. And then uh, nine boys. A double Irish. Nine of the boys. So we'll just do this twice. Okay. We'll just go ahead and use our death skull here. Two wounds. Didn't you use it on the? Uh... I didn't use it the wound because I. Wound oh, there's the wound. That's the wound. Got yeah, it. Okay. I used it on the hit. Sorry, I thought you were doing hit still. You're fine. You're good. So just two wounds so far. Uh, make it six wounds. Six wounds. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> he gave up on life. Does not explode. Storms okay. out. So I'm out of lamp speeder storms. A tragic turn of events. <laughs> tragic. Indeed, I was hoping to have lamp speeder storms. Yeah. All right. All things equal, I would prefer having storms than not having storms. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. So that was ten boys swinging, and now Mark's positioned two units on that objective. So if I want to try to knock them off. It is much more firepower I'll have to dedicate downfield. These guys are going to go six inches. Yep, so he's just getting extra screening out of this unit of boys. Yep, and then they're getting in the force, so good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and then my big boy squad's got to move on up. Yep. Uh, it's got six inches of between the pile in and the consolidate. Yep. Just going to shake it up. And just move a couple extra up. Mm -hmm. So plop. These guys can go there. Make sure all that screen's good. Rotate that crater. Yep. Then. Do not want to leave. I want to leave a little bit of a hole here for him to go through in case Who's... he needs to. Oh, just a her heroic in case something crazy happens? So, for crazy, it move doesn't forward. move block him if something bad happens. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. And then checking currency, we've got the big block here. The He's big block? Oh. Uh, the, like the anchor part of the boy squad. Oh, there's boys back there. Yep. Interesting. And then all good there. Okay. Very okay. Good. So, that's going to be it for me. All right. So, beginning of my turn. You're going to get 10 uh, points. I'm going to get 10 points on primary. We're going to go ahead and make the Scorpius plus one to hit. Yep. Did you do your one at the battle Passes. at the beginning of battle? Yeah, that was the heroic intervention arm. Okay. So the Scorpius is in fact plus one to hit. Gotcha. Any interesting revelations in the chat? Yeah, I was discussing your 2d6 for 
Mm -hmm. Anything different from what I've... Uh, one person is already in there. Um, you can only do it... You have to still be within three inches to do it first. Yeah. So I, you're going to get 10 points. Yep. So I'm 10 points on primary. Now I really... It's not... Unfortunately, it, it's fairly likely that Mark gets 10 points on his turn. I'd really like to keep him from getting more than that. Um, if I could get him to 5, it'd be awesome. That doesn't seem practical. So I think shooting off all of these models is... How many um, units did I kill for uh, grind? Two speeders, one bike, and... Scouts? Yeah, five scouts. So uh, you've got four units so far. So I want to okay. at least get four. Um, five would be ideal. Now, the best thing to do is... Scoop up the man, kill the Ludas, kill both these boy squads, and try to get one mech gun. That would be the best way for me to try to get more than that. Yep. And I gain another command point. So right now I'm just kind of eyeballing what I could potentially do with this unit of uh, Inceptors. Because I, I could go on in a little adventure here. Okay. Basically, I would need to push out to get uh, this side for... Um, uh, my engage in all fronts anyway, so I don't want to abandon this side of the board just yet. Um, but I've got a couple options here, so really, again, let me just check this. So they're going to have to move for sure. Um, again, the Inceptors are what I'm deciding on most right now. Because I can push them forward, shoot, charge five boys. The Inceptors would almost certainly kill these five boys in close combat. Mm -hmm. um, that probably wouldn't be uh, too difficult of a supposition. Um, if I do that, um, that would clear him off that objective. But if I get on that one, he's still only getting 10 points on primary. Yep. More so I... 6 CP? Did I spend one last turn? Uh, you re-rolled a wound roll. That's right. I'm making sure. Of course. Yeah. So this biker unit is going to move, not advance. Yep, yep. Do not expect that I'm going to need a charge roll here, but, uh, can't roll it out. Um... Although, actually, I could advance just to get deeper on the screening. Now, acknowledging that Mark can, of course... Uh, let's actually, let's wind this back. Let's actually, now that I'm looking at this, I mean, there's five aggressors staring at these guys, and literally nothing else can be seen. So, if I advance and go 18 inches through the forest, I could get out to there, which would enforce more screening. It would also get me in the forest, which makes shooting at me just a little more annoying, because um, he would theoretically want a more DACA um, to hit me on five. So I think they're just going to advance. When you go like that. Okay. Now, I, I understand, unfortunately, that Mark can just arrive there and then declare a charge on me, but then he does have to charge me, and um, the... Uh, so we're just touching with both. The... whatever they're called. Uh, tank busters in close combat are probably not killing me, and every chance that I kill them if I've still got two models left, because they don't have any melee weapons, right? No. But you'd still have a 9-inch charge, so we're just going to put this model an inch inside. The terrain piece. Okay. Should be pretty easy. However, I do that. Just an inch inside so that a, a Death Dread would have an 11 inch charge. It's really yep. cool. Um, I do need to absolutely annihilate that Mega Knob, but honestly, I could probably charge him with a Captain because he's touching the wall. So it'd be very easy for me to get him in close combat. And if I'm not charging anything else, there's no real fear of an interrupt. Um, just analyze our options here. Um, can you hand me a dice? Dice. Just eyeball on the 27 inch line. Okay. Just make sure that theoretically an eradicator. Can I see him? That's. Uh, yep. Okay. Those of you going to be just tall enough or just too short? I think the fact that you're on the crater is why I can see yeah. you. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Which I'm not going to complain about. Um, okay. So then, just want to make sure that I'm not leaving this as an obvious outflanking spot. Can you, um, let's just put a dice down at nine there so to cover that spot i would just need to back the scouts up which uh, one on an advanced roll would do that so I, I would be able to cover that outflank option i really mark's making this fight over here very difficult i have zero interest in mark getting back in the game on this side of the board i need to control this and be pushing out uh hopefully with extreme prejudice <laughs> um okay so i think then um so we'll just do the scouts first that's something i know what i'm doing so they're just advancing Mark, you have a question in the chat from HBO 75. He'd like to know, why did you place the tank busters in the boat tunnel instead of going through the prison shop next door? Maybe you placed them more in the trees that are uh, so, to your left. I'm going to die no matter what, even if I have minus one. But I'll set them there in case I didn't kill the storm. They can charge in and not get that minus two. 
Uh, I didn't want the minus two to my charge for force, just in case the storm survived and the tiny charge with the tank busters. They have optics, so they would have done the same job, but I wouldn't have killed the storm. Uh, but it would have stopped that five points of primary. It was just a never little plan stacked on top of the plan. Another one, unfortunately, from the aggressors means that eh, they're going a little bit slower than I want. But I'm just going to shoot two at the boy, the um, tank busters. the tank busters, and we're going to go ahead and hope that that's enough. Um, and again, with the Scorpius there and the scout there, he won't be able to fit any of his reserves. So I can now push out uh, without worrying about the screening aspect. I just have to think now about um, the fact that these boys can still advance and charge. So um, where's the the farthest board or play? Right there, close to the edge of the room. Yep. So it's the smart lot model. So he would go five inches there, plus three d six essentially. Yep. I can reroll all three of them if needed. Yep. So right now that's still a very long charge. Um, now if you hits a six on the first roll, it would go down to being like a nine inch charge. But um, it's not so bad. I'm just looking. I might put one. I think I'm gonna pretty safely just put one Eradicator Squad up, try to scoop up a mech gun because they don't have an invulnerable save. It should be relatively elementary for these models wounding on twos to just pick up a mech gun. And that's very important to my plan. So if I kill one, two, three, four, five, that gets me another grind them down point. I'm really trying to keep that secondary ahead of mark. Killing five units would definitely be the best case scenario. No, it does just become a question of positioning this unit. Uh, now I could also move them Everyone is within 10 inches of the forest, so I could just move them here. I would definitely be prone to taking a charge from the orc boys though, which is really not ideal, but um, it could happen. I think that they are going to move up. I wanna get this engaged in all front point. I wanna make sure that these orc boys are dead. Um, also, it would require that Mark bring shooting down here to effectively deal with them. Uh, now he could charge the orc boys, but then the orc boys are coming all the way down here and um, that's an interesting position for him. So I'm just making sure that's my line for this table quarter, which is relatively achievable. Again, the closest boy here, um, not so bad. Got options, but not so bad. Um, still wouldn't be an automatic charge. It would be a makeable one, certainly. 10 inches touching the forest. Okay. 10 inches touching the forest. 10 inches touching the forest. Studio J7, thank you so much. We thank really appreciate you. that support. Go check out his channel, guys. He's right. Like he's a, he's done this like a couple times, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, guys, anyone that's going, go rate. Like we'll rate. We rate him back. We'll do that at some point. Like if you want, just want like a chill, good hobby games. Um, go check him out. Like guys, he's good. Check him out. Just mm -hmm. do it. Just right, Marky do it. Says so. ah. <laughs> Okay. So right now I'm 16 inches there with a five inch move. You'd need an 11 on 3d6. That's very achievable, especially if you get a decent advance roll. I could advance this unit just to get them in the forest and take two inches off of that. I'm already getting it to the point where um, you would uh, you would just need, you would shoot me through a forest, but if I get a little closer, you'll be charging me through a forest. That would make my life a little easier, but also it becomes less guaranteed that I just wipe out these units. And I think I really want those units dead. So you should be nine and nine right there. Um, and yeah, you can bring in tank busters. That's a thing you are able to do. Okay. So this eradicator unit, um, just stepping five inches over, they should be um, good to go in that they can all three see. Just to make sure that's... Probably one's missing out. Mm. Okay. He's just gonna back around this way. Okay. Just get him on the line. Um, Does he have range on that far? 27. Uh, oh, no, he doesn't. Yep. No, he doesn't. So it might just be four. Um, we're going to trail him back. Then um, I could just advance um, just to make sure that they're all getting in the line there. Even a one would do it. Uh, six shots hitting on fours versus four shots hitting on threes. Um, I've got the captain reroll. I'm wounding on twos. I think, I think two is honestly going to kill it. Because um, I, I wound on twos, I reroll ones. I hit on threes, I reroll ones, and one no more. So I'm gonna, because and you don't get an invuln, you don't get a save. I think I think I'm fine with that. Um, and you're in a crater, so I'm not minus one to hit. Um, okay, so then I think next up uh, the captain, um, who theoretically could drive through that point. Um, oh, we're wherever this line is, we're not gonna the scouts. 
Okay. And the, the, the goal is that the scouts are not in the forest. I forgot that there was of an outline crater. there yep, yep. of the, the outline. I just want to be on the objective, not getting seen through that wall. Okay. Um, I think the captain is, um, he's going to go last, actually. So the lieutenant's in a good spot. We're going to advance this incursive squad. Um, actually, they'll just step up six inches. Just so that I've got five more bolt gun shots if it becomes necessary. Um, 27 inches on these. Um, nah, we're going to advance. Uh, four more inches. Go for that crater minus two. Yep. So two less inches. Fair point. We'll just go right up to the crater then. Not touch it. So, I mean, this is this is only turn two. It's a pretty bloody so far, uh, but I'm forcing Lennon to start screening with stuff he doesn't want to screen with. Like only the outriders are the last real dedicated screen here. Mm -hmm. Um, so like there's multiple units where I can start hammering down to and going after now. So that's really what it's gonna have to come down to is like how many more units can I pick up here to push that primary really hard and those secondaries really hard for him to get. That's really kind of what the position is. I just have to see the damage output this turn, and then my following turn tells me a lot. Turn three is the big play. I'm setting up a unfailable charge there. The okay. eradicators will just advance. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, actually, the eradicators could shoot through this, couldn't they? Gotcha. I'm just eyeballing the eradicators. They step there, they could shoot through that and just see you. Um, now, if I want to do that, is another question, but uh, I could. Okay, so then I think we're um, just going to... Um... Nah, they're going to wait a turn. We're going to make Mark screen. Because um, I don't want him coming at me without worrying about it. And I, I think I can kill what I need to this turn anyway, so I'm going to just save them for one more turn. Um, so we'll go ahead then. The um, uh, the second Eradicator score will just advance. Okay. Uh, so four. Nine inches. So the goal is just to move them up so that I've got better angles next turn. Yep. Um, so they're just going to come right up here. You can't advance and charge, but I don't see that as too big of a problem. All right. Um, I think I'm good to go. There are no psychic powers. Um, I think, uh, let's see here. I need to see you. Oh, you're, well, you're touching the ruin, right? Yeah. So I can see over it, um, which is still only going to be like two models I can see. Okay. Um, so I could put like three into the 10 man and two there and then just charge them because this charge is very makeable. I only need a six. If I charge them and kill them, um, then that positions my screens better and gets me all in the forest without me having to advance. But on the other hand, if I just fail the charge, Mark gets. Uh, we're gonna probably make that decision after I see how the rest of my shooting goes, because I'm on three objectives. It actually doesn't affect Mark's primary. I just would rather have more units dead than less units dead. When in doubt. Um, so let's go ahead then. Um, yeah, no reserves coming in. Start with the shooting, I know. Four okay. eradicators are going into that mech gun. Gotcha. Um, hitting on twos or threes, re-rolling ones from the captain. He's right at six inches. Um, actually, Lieutenant will move, I'm sorry. Lieutenant hadn't moved yet. Um, no, he's actually... And the, the chaplain hasn't moved yet either. Jeez, let's let's move my characters, folks. <laughs> One moment here. Okay. Um, the chaplain will... He's just staying within six of the um, Scorpius. For reasons that I'm sure are obvious. And then um, I think the lieutenant... Um, the Scorpius is plus one to hit right now. Uh, the lieutenant is not within six inches of that Gravis unit. So I think um, he's not going to advance. I think I'm just going to... Tuck him back a little bit so that they're all within all Gravis units and the scouts are within six inches of the lieutenant. Gotcha. Alrighty here. So then um, we're good to go. Four eradicators are going to shoot into the one met gun. I hit on threes, I reroll ones. Gotcha. Come on in. Um, we'll art master artist in that. Cool. I wound on twos, I reroll ones. It's three D6 damage. You're six okay. ones? Or five? Six, uh, five. No. That, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, they're not no. eight. <laughs> Boop. So met gun down. Actually, six wins is T5. That's all I was trying to remember. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot two aggressors into okay. those. Number of shots. Six. Yeah, under the tank busters. So it'll be 18 shots total. I have one dice. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Wounding on uh, fours, re-rolling ones. 
Well, we rolled one with Master Artisans. Wounding on fours, we're rolling ones. Yep. Master Artisans that. So it's a lot of AP1. A lot of AP1. And they should just die. One would hope so. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, cool. They so, did their job. Two units down. Nice, quick, and easy. Again, the captain set up so he cannot fail that charge there. Yep. Uh, should be able to knock out a Mega Knob. Um, it's only three wounds, right? Yep. Okay. Um, so now the squad advanced. Shot, shot. It's done my job over here. Really, the Inceptors need to decide if I'm just clearing both of these out um, before the Scorpio shoots or if I'm going to... So I, I think we're just going to um, put... Um, let's see, I'm not minus one to hit, but if I roll any ones, I die. Um, so I think what we'll do then is, um, I could spend one command point for plus one to wound, just to make sure that I wound them on twos anyway. Um, cause there's ten boys here, and there's five boys there, right? Okay. Yeah, there's five there, ten there. If I just put all five there, they're almost guaranteed dead. I'm just setting up a six inch charge. I think I'm going to go for that, um, and then I'll use the Scorpius to thin some stuff down. So we're going to do three of these um, Inceptors, which will be, um, because this is a six or more unit, it'll just be 18 shots. And then we're gonna put their shots there, and we're gonna put two into the big boy blob. I wanna thin them down without taking them to last strength. Gotcha. Just reduce the overall value of the unit. All right, so what we're gonna do then, um, we'll go ahead and uh, plus one to wound that. Okay. So uh, not overcharging. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I need more dice. Actually, I need 18 dice, so this is easy. 18 dice going into the boy unit right in front of me. Hitting on threes, no, we're, we're rolling just potentially one of them, and um, wounding on twos. Yep. So, we'll go ahead and reroll that. Cool. Twos. Go ahead and reroll that. That many invulns saves. Invulns of six up. Mm hmm. They're gone. They're gone. Yep, that 10 more boy squad is dead. And then yep. we're looking at 12 shots into the other boys. I have used my reroll. Hit on threes, reroll, uh, wound on twos. No rerolls gotcha. at all. So good hits, 10 hits, wounding on twos. Uh, no rerolls involved. We're just looking at that many invulns saves for you. So seven invulns. We're losing seven. Seven boys. Again, kind of okay with that. Um, wasn't expecting anything crazy there. Um, because I'm on three objectives, it's not changing Mark's primary if I fail this charge. I would just like to get something else to kill. What I may do to make sure is that I may shoot the Scorpius to try to pick up that one um, Smasher Gun so that I've got five kills even if I fail this charge. Now again, would be nice for my positioning if I make this charge. Yep. But if I don't, you know, it's a six inch charge even if I CP roll it, it's not, certainly not impossible that I fail it. So there are 23 boys left in this unit, right? Mm -hmm. So, they need to be at um, 15 for you to unstoppable green tide. What do you want? Green tide? I believe it's just any number of models. I thought you had to be below half strength. Possibly. I believe so. Oh, for half strength, yeah. I believe I have to be half, half below half below. strength. Right. All right. Well, I, um, I have to be half below. Sorry, I'll start you talking about like yeah. I'm below half. I don't get to do it. I'm like, no, I think it's when Before I'm below. Before you half. Um, pull those casualties, right now I can shoot bad drop with the Scorpius. Oh. Um, I nice. would just adjust it to make sure okay. I don't do that. Yep. Sorry about that. Yep. He'll go over there. I mean, I'm totally okay with it if you want to leave him there. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dark will almost angle. certainly die. <laughs> it has to have less than half. Uh, less than half? Yes. So thinning it down is useful. Um, I could shoot a volley of a Scorpius, but then I'm fairly likely to bring it below half, and then he'd be able to unstoppable green tide it on the same turn his reserves are coming in, which could potentially be annoying, but also it would, it would only go over here or over here. Um, which neither of those are honestly the worst. So you wouldn't have great charges to set it up. The alternative is that the Scorpius can try to pick up the mech gun just to get me one more kill in case I fail this charge. And uh, is the truck toughness uh, five or six? Toughness is six. Toughness six? Okay. So shooting a truck would uh, take a little bit of effort because uh, it's 10 wounds, right? It is 10 wounds. It has eight remaining because you did two wounds early. That's Scouts. right. That's a big deal, actually. Let's um go ahead and put uh, one volley of the Scorpius into the truck. Okay. If I can kill it here, that'd be nice, and then I can shoot the Storm Boys. Um, so first volley is uh, six shots. Hitting on twos, re-rolling a dice. Yeah. 
Oh, five hits. Wounding on fours, lieutenant, and artisans. Uh, just two in AP2. Two AP2? Yeah, so definitely not killing it. Six ups, ramshackle. Nope. <laughs> okay, so it's got um four wounds left. Four wounds. Mm, I just save that for later. Let's go ahead and shoot the, the gun. Okay. Try to make this safe. Um, five shots, twos to hit. Threes to wound. Yep. Uh, it's just two. Dead. Yeah, all right, you're just dead. All right, so wounded the truck. So I've already gotten my kill there. Um, let's go ahead and charge the interceptors into the orc boys. Okay. So again, I need to just roll a six. Um, this is why this is why you killed a gun. So we're gonna reroll that just in case. Uh, seven, we're good. Okay. So I did spend a command point there. A little frustrating, but um, not really the end of the world by any means. So with seven inches, we're just gonna go right here. Um, really the only goal is to make this a more failable charge, spread the screen out a little bit more, and uh, really just trying to make life a little harder for Mark. So I'm just gonna do the an inch there. But yeah. These guys are magnetized, I promise it. I'm not just breaking them willy-nilly. <laughs> Horms are just very loose. All right, so... There we go, there we go. Okay. Um, kill saw is that model. Cool. Okay. Uh, five models. Um, oh, let's actually do this better. Because I have a crushing charge to where uh, on a six up I'll do a mortal wound. So we'll roll three dice for that. I got three models in an inch. Uh, take a mortal wound, my ah. good friend. Now I'm looking at 16 attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on fours. He's got a six up armor save. I could spend a command point here. Let me just think about this. I just need him to fail five saves. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and spend a command point here. We'll go plus one strength. Okay. Could do plus one to wound. I chose plus, plus one, one to hit. hit. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. Um, and I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, here we go. Hitting on threes, we'll reroll one of them. Wounding on threes, we're rolling one. Wounding on threes? I just... Oh, you plus one strength. Gotcha, gotcha. Plus one strength or plus one to wound there. Statistically identical in this instance. Oh, uh, he's going to charge the mega. Come on in. Uh, you ooh, let me, that may change how I... Yeah, because I can interrupt. Yeah. He's going to charge in. Um, just get on the other side. Um, base, yeah. So I could do... I, I'm probably going to lead off here and let you interrupt on the captain if you want to, frankly. Okay. Is what I'm probably gonna do. So he's just gonna go across here to block you so that you can't interrupt and swing into you. Um, those guys. Okay. Well, honestly, you have what, one kill saw? Oh, I have a pair of kill saw, so it's four attacks. Four attacks. Two command points. Your toughness, seven, minus one wound? Tough seven, minus one wound. Yeah, okay. We're going here first. Um, so this is my wound roll. Yep. You're on, no, this was my hit roll, right? Yeah, I think that was your hit. I think that was my hit roll. I don't think I rolled a wound. I'm like, oh, that's way too many. <laughs> okay. You say that. I say that. <laughs> Good. Six ups. Really hoping this is dead boys here. Really hoping. Okay, boys are dead. Okay. So again, that got me, you know, the, the more kills. Would you like to interrupt? So if I interrupt, um, what can I do to this one dude? I really doing, let me think here. I have an actual act mathematical way of killing you. It's just not Consistent. Exactly. And I haven't spent a command point yet. I'm hitting on, on freeze because it's defensible. Oh. Uh, yep. Then I can go to flat free damage. Oh, that'd be interesting. One CP. But that puts me down to two, and I just don't, don't really like that for a free CP because he has a four pin bone, and that's just my key. So we're not going to worry about doing that. Not going to consolidate within an inch of the edge. Okay. Just realized why I shouldn't do that. <laughs> so that's fine. Go ahead and swing. Four attacks, base, shock assault, uh, makes it five. Yep. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones, I'll reroll one of them. Okay. Wounding on um, threes, um, your toughness four? Toughness four. Twos. Twos. Five, AP three. We're gone. Okay, so he's dead. All right. Closest is the orc boys, we'll just consolidate in like that, theoretically be slightly closer. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I'm good to go on that. Um, I'll get two points on engage in all fronts. Yep. I'll get three points on grind them down. Mark should get ten points on primary. Uh, those guys are leadership. And one banner. Caring, and he'll get one more raise the banner. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Let's look and see what I need to do this turn. So this turn, I really, if I can pick up these aggressors. 
Oh, it really helps out. One thing I can do is just drop a lot of models here and just try to hammer them out. Got it. Uh, and go from there. Those plasma dudes need to go away too, uh, just because of their positioning. In. Mm -hmm. But I need to think about where the rest of these models are going to move. So, Storm Boys can easily get over here. You got to do your litany. Yep. Or our convention arc. Yep. Passes. Passes. Is it an or yeah. is it give it one model? Or is that the option? Six opposite inch one? aura. Gotcha. Six inch aura. Oh, uh, six inches or four inches? Six. Six. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, make the eradicator squad up second. So it's units within uh, six inches. Captain will make him? himself up second. So the captain doesn't have six inch aura. Okay, but he has just the natural free. It is units within six inches of him have a three inch heroic intervention. Oh, French. Okay. Yes. Sorry. So. But any unit could do a 2d6 heroic intervention if right. you charge something nearby here. And they can fire Overwatch and support. So, what I could really mean to do is probably hammer out this side, fight this close combat here, drop the rest of my reserves down this line, mm -hmm. shoot down here. I can drop. Um, let me check here. It doesn't look like I can grab this objective without getting around this captain. You have obstacle on there, so that's a thing. Really, what we just need to do is do I just wait a turn, take some Scorpio shots? Because now the Scorpio shots, well, it's turn free. I have to bring in reserves. Never mind. So, let's see the placement of some killer cans here. All right, killer cans. Uh, death dreads. Death dreads, yep. You can get. Relatively close here. Yep. Yeah, so right now he can arrive within one inch of that table edge um, and uh, fire. Um, and he can arrive within nine inches of me because it's one inch off his own board edge. Mm -hmm. So he can absolutely do that with the Death Dreads. I knew that coming in. However, that unit is not strategic preserves, the Deep Struck. Yeah, they did Deep so Struck. So they cannot so go there. True. But so he that's... could do that with the, the, the Tank Busters. So currently these Eradicators. And these guys are in the outline. So I can see for this hole. Uh, the aggressors are not. Those are the ones that I talked about backing up. Okay, okay. So if you got it, make they're, it sure. They're not. Make the eradicators sure. are. You can, yeah, yeah. If you can draw a physical are. line of sight, you can see. You can shoot them. Okay. But they will be relatively difficult to do that too. It's possible, but relatively difficult. See these boys are right there. We're over 16 within 17. So uh, over 16 within 17. Yep. So not a bad charge. Not a bad charge. But it'd also be difficult to split that unit up depending on where he wants to allocate his resources. Right. So, one thing is the Eradicators have a 32 inch turret range. Max, so I can engage him over here and not get shot at with the big boy squad. Okay. Makes sense to me. Um, what are we gonna do? We're probably gonna take Storm Boys, set up these guys over here, go for that, drop some Tank Busters, probably here. Um, I want to shoot that off. We want to pick up maybe some of these dudes or some of these eradicators, really. Mm -hmm. So they're important targets. Yep. Let me also check all the spots. Yep. And Mark is checking his reserves before he brings anything in. Yep. Which is always a good idea. No. <laughs> I'm just making sure. <laughs> I measured it in front of you. <laughs> Keep in mind that I do have aspect scan on many units here. Yep. So, uh, just something to keep in mind. So, you could use the dice. Let's see some bubbles here. Really want to shoot up these uh, these death dreads. Really want to shoot the eradicators because that's the thing that threatens them the worst. They do threaten them. Um. Do 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 do. So. So right now in reserves, just so everyone's aware, you have three death dreads that are going to deploy as a unit. And you have uh, two units of five tank busters, right? Yep. Okay. So one thing I also got to figure out how to do, so I'm probably going to get these, these storm boys could come out here and threaten and we can go after those eradicators. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Uh, that's not a half bad play. No, not at all. So we focus out those ones. These ones are a little harder to get to. I got to yeah. be at a sharper angle and I got to be, be able to see through this hole. It's like... So if this dude dies, yeah. I can't get that line of sight. But if I place models here, I can put tank, tank busters. busters. Totally. Also need to consider where do I line up for all my seizures, which is probably seizures is just going to go over here. What? Death Skull spell. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, all units all units that are or that attack, or Death Skulls that attack against unit that you cast it on mm -hmm. are additional AP1. Oh, that's cool. 
All my boys will be coming That's, at you wide and so forth. In close combat, that'd be very, yep, very close good. combat and shooting. Ooh, that'd be very nice. It's an orc jinx. I also go up to six CP. Okay. Um, we got the mighty brave Captain Badbird too. Yes, who almost got shot by a Scorpius. Almost. Almost. All right. So we're just gonna let's see what these boys roll for their advance roll. They're going. Is that a four? Nine inches. Nine inches, so not too shabby. He can definitely make it a very realistic charge into the Inceptors. Nine inches. Yep. Right here. Oh, he is minus two, but so he just needs a seven. I'm over five. Yep. Yeah, so he just needs a seven. Yep. Very makeable at that point. So we do that. Do I go send, because I want to get free engagement all fronts. We send... Storm boys in, maybe? Storm boys over here. Totally. We can charge and pile in. I'm trying to take away this objective also. Ah. Put that up. primary really down low. Oh. Uh, go from there. So, these guys, mm -hmm. nine. Yep. And we know that that charge is a seven. So, yep. at this point, he's just moving up some orc boys. Plenty of orc boys to move around. Which model is your weird boy? Weird boy's back there. Oh, that's who that is. Okay. Like, who is this guy? All right. Who is this guy? What's the range on uh, Maniacal Caesars? Caesars? Uh, 18. Okay. So, conceivable, but would need a decent advance roll in order to get on. I could also to jump him and do it. You can do Oh, you can cast two. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Because he's a warpit. Makes sense to me. Okay. And I don't have a Deny the Witch, so uh, if Mark is able to pass the spell, he'll just get it there. Do you need me to leave these dice up? It. Or screens? What's up? Um, deep striking stuff? For those ones, no, we're good there. So take all these off? Yeah. All right. So right now he's just moving the boys up. Um, okay. Then you've got those storm boys as well, and you're thinking the storm boys are just going to kind of come forward? Yep. That's right. Yeah, four wins left on that truck. Oops. I should have four points on bringing it down. I haven't been adjusting anything, so. You, you got so, it, Steve? Thank you. Feeling, feeling okay so far. Um, certainly, um, still, still a relatively tight game. Um, really, this turn for Mark is going to be, I think, the big deciding factor. So far, I've done my due diligence getting to this point. I feel fine about what I've done, but there wasn't really an opportunity to just knock him out. So, um, did he? Does he? Is he going to need to jump? Yeah. Okay. He's just gonna stay there, just as insurance. Sure. So just in case he fails to jump, you know, there's no need to be any closer. Yep. How many uh, boys are you in 12 of? Uh, that's what I'm checking right now. I'm probably gonna just move him right here. Do you want just a plus one? Just to get the plus one. All right, so he's moving up to get the plus yep. one. Sounds good to Boom. me. And then Captain Badrush is just gonna be happy. Okay. Oh, Captain Badrush is a very happy fellow. Do, 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 do. Storm boys. Storm boys are coming out. Yep. And again, they can go get Mark and engage in all fronts point because he can put some models over there. Yep. And as well, he can come try to tie up these eradicators, do some damage. Uh, a lot of opportunities there. So, 15 away from my hole. Yep. Very easy charge at this point. Wasn't really expecting otherwise, to be honest. Um, I, I took the cursory shot to see if I could deal some damage on the... Um, the truck, but uh, yeah, I'm not surprised that the Stormbirds are coming out. That was a great play on Mark's part to shelter them in the truck. He is correct. If he hadn't done that, I would have made them priority target number one. But I am glad to see the Mega Knobs off the table at least, although there's plenty left for uh, our good friend Mark. Mm -hmm. Great. I figure out what I want to do with this truck, really. <laughs> yeah. Now the truck's degraded, right? So it's yeah. probably a little slow. Just Coming thinking, right here. sheltering. Sheltering. Given to just make me do another instance of shooting. If I wanted to yeah. try to clear Mark off that objective, it'll be even more difficult. The war boss is just gonna go ahead and raise a banner. Okay, so Mark's gonna raise a second banner here. Yep. Trying to recoup some of those secondary points. He's actually gonna go right here in the middle. Okay. Uh, the war, if you get on this objective, he can heroic you no matter where you are. Makes sense to me. They yes. do, so His you could not currently... advance in charge. That's true. You That's do true. not want to do we that. We don't want Thank to do you, that. Thank you, for pointing that out. Yeah. So, 
reason to maybe keep the storm boys back raise a banner uh, because at that point the banners are really hard to remove but I'm not removing these eradicators at this point I just need to inflict some, some damage inflict some damage makes sense so so you're happy with the boss's position there and he will yep. not and he will, will not, not raise, raise a, banner. a banner so boom okay now oh boy here come the tank boss does yep within one inch so they'll touch the force therefore they don't suffer the minus one okay what are you thinking of shooting the outriders uh gonna split it up a little bit between the outriders i can still charge you of course um but i'm probably gonna put a death dread over here the sign to go deal with them also mm -hmm. and now the death dreads have to deep strike as a unit right because they have deep strike within six inches of each other oh, okay so of, or one model of each unit interesting they have a they count little bit of a different deployment there death dreads are pretty cool Plop. Like right there, they can go after the Eradicators with that second unit. Yep, plenty of options there for those tank busters. And then bringing in the second unit kind of in that same area Same spot, just need to double down on this. And really spread out your board control. Of course. It's going to give me more things to kill, and hopefully I'll be able to take advantage of that. So. Then we got to do these Death Dreads. Dreads. All right, Death Dreads, the last of the reserves. So. They can go 12 inches. We go right there. Yep. He doesn't want to risk um, me just using an aspect scan. Yep. Because uh, I'm would... going to set up where only one dude can see. All right. Um, you're Sorry. currently within one inch of the wall here, correct? The captain? Yes. Uh, when he consolidated, he should not. You should have to get on the other side. Okay. Because he, he consolidated this way because the wall's at an angle to get gotcha. closer to the boys, but outside of the charging. Gotcha. Wall. Making sure. Yep. So it'd have so. to be an infantry to come try that play. Thinking of these death dreads when I thought of that, because I don't want to dance with them. I want to dance with somebody, but not the death dreads. We set up there. So I can only see with there. one, so I probably won't use that aspect scan realistically. Yep. Man, I'm not going to, um, certainly. And then you've got two more death dreads coming in. So that one can go there. We're deployed once we're separate, but that's just bad. Um, mm -hmm. so what we're going to do. Again, trying to avoid that aspect scan. Line up a second one. So again, you can only see one. If I go right there, I can probably see two from the hole. Yeah, I can see two. Uh, from right here? From lining up the hole to your base, to my base? Yeah, I'll say yeah. Yeah, you got okay. it. He's good. So let me see if I can do that and be out. So I'm out. So I'm good. Well, you just moved it, so I'm going to have to go look. look. <laughs> Pretty sure from still from the line that I drew. Let me draw it. Simply. Yeah. Right up, from it's... base to base. Yeah. From the You're hole and so forth. still good to go. Okay. You got it. Right on the edge. It's hard to tell because the weapon color blends in very well with the wall. So yep. right now you've got two that could potentially shoot at two eradicators. But if the first one were to somehow kill both of them, then uh, well, that'd be kind of amusing. Mark, are those actually dead? No, they're just some conversions. Some marquee conversions. Marquee, marquee conversions. Okay. Setting up there. So we've got a decent amount of shooting coming in here. Yep. Definitely Mark is now presenting me with threats. Um, but he's also probably going to be able to do a good amount of damage this turn. I'm going to have to watch out for that. Yeah, but hashtag Perry special. <laughs> that's, that's, that's hashtag Perry special right there, no doubt about it. Yep. All right, so this unit's got to fire higher first. Mm -hmm. Um. So this one can only see one. So he wants to shoot. What I want to do is probably take these guys and just angle them a little bit farther this way. Of course. Get as many models extra. Excellent. All of these these boys. All these boys. All tank these boys. Bosses. The tank boss does. All right. All right. So I gotta figure out where this last death dread goes. Yeah. It... Uh, I could theoretically aspect scan with that outrider unit, but at only eight shots, I'm probably not gonna take that kind of a move. <laughs> Just not gonna try it. I mean, it actually, like hitting on fours, we're rolling one of each. I'm probably looking at killing two or three boys, but two command points. That's a little harsh. I, I think since I'm going to be able to almost certainly kill them on my turn. Um, I should have something left over here, I would certainly hope. So um, I, I think I'm just going to take a couple extra rockets here. You know, orc shooting, those two rockets could be four hits, they could be zero. You never really know. So I think I'm just going to not spend the command points. The jump. Passes. So he sh would be able to move over here and cast uh, his, uh, his little spell. Yep. Very nice. Boom. He does need line of sight. That's why I'm angling yep. this model. I've got this model out here, so it shouldn't be too hard. Boom, and then Caesars goes off. Okay. So now he's one better AP whenever he attacks these. Yep. 
Very nice. All right, so let's start off with the shooting, and I gotta make sure I plan this out correctly. So okay. we're gonna take a bomb squeak here. What we need to do is this guy can see two. This guy can only see one. Mm -hmm. uh, these tank busters are also limited when it comes to firing against them. Yep. Now what I do have here is that I could use self-sacrifice right now. Okay. And just make sure that that eradicator unit can't be shot at. Um, because there's a captain closer or the outriders is closer. Is closest visible? Has to be closest visible. Okay. So, so what, what happens what would... if I kill these guys and then the tank busters can shoot them? Then they're the closest visible. Okay. Um, sure. when I, all that would mean is that the death dreads have to shoot at the um, the bikes, which would be interesting because they'd be hitting on sixes, right? They're ballistic skill five plus. What's up for them? Yeah. The, Why so would they be hitting sixes? The, can't, the death dreads. Oh, for there. them? Yeah, that's true. So that would be a, kind of um, interesting. Um, and it would preserve the eradicators and with those death dreads right on my doorstep, having eradicators alive doesn't sound too bad. Um, but it does mean that he would just start shooting aggressors instead. So he's going to be shooting Gravis Armor. I think I'm going to save my command points. Okay. But had to consider the option. Yep. So on to you, Mr. Mark. So what we're going to do is we're going to take... Let's see here. Let me set up 10 inches. Let me do a little bit right here. Can you tell me... What's the line? I'm not getting that angle at all. So making sure there. So you're you're good with your... Yep. Okay. So I'm going to check to see that line of sight, but that's not happening. Of course. So... Okay, this unit goes first. They have the most options, so they go last. This unit has a good number of options. Sure do. Oh, uh, these death dreads do not. You're not using soul sacrifice? Okay. So what we're gonna do is start off with one dude that can see uh, one model. Okay, let's see it. He's gonna put his big shooter into the scouts. So custom Mega Blasters. Yeah. Death Skulls. No, nope. okay. the big shooter. Three <laughs> hits. Hilarious. Death skulls. Is that one? Two wins. Oh, there's stuff. Okay. There's shank five. Uh, I do make both saves. Okay. So we're good one. so far. Yep, yep. So the next one that can see two. Just the Mega Blasters. Death skulls. Nope. nope. Okay. Then big shooters. In the same spot. So, so nothing. No. Okay. All right. And then the last one's going to wait for a second. And. Can the last one see anything besides the Outriders? Just the Outriders. Okay. So. What we're going to do. Go ahead and just shoot all of them into, let's shoot all of these dudes into these three eradicators. Okay. So this is five tank busters into three eradicators? Yep. Cool. And I gotta argue where I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the bomb squig in the same place, just confirm the kill. Of course. So bomb squig, hits, okay. and wounds. Okay. AP is two. All right, on two I fail, because I've got cover, but a six, six damage. damage is a dead eradicator. No problem. Okay, and then I'll mark it. I'm just gonna go here. What's oh, up? yeah, uh, it's a six up feel no pain. But yeah, did you that... have it from six inches from him? Yeah, so I should actually. Mm. I don't think you had it. That's I know. Was like. This, this was the, this this was was the one I dragged back because I specifically okay. adjusted. Gotcha, gotcha. So okay. I should pull that one instead. So that model's dead. Okay, what was it doing? And it was flat six Death damage, skulls, so it's definitely two Dacus. Transit the free hits. Okay, three hits. Yep. And winning on threes? Yep. Death Skull here. Yeah, three wounds. AP two. two. So I'll have four up saves against this. Yep. Uh, I do fail two of them. It's flat three. Yep. So the first one, I make a feel no pain. And the second volley, I make a feel no pain. So I've got one eradicator left here. Um, and there's tank. There's five tank busters left. Yep. We're going to go ahead and leave the guy in the feel no pain aura. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and maximize our damage here, Vin. Sure. And uh, shoot some... I think we're just gonna shoot some eradicators. Not eradicators, uh. Bolter dudes. Try to remember their names. Uh, the Bolter boys. Okay. Aggressors. aggressors. Okay. So, so just five at the aggressors. Yep. Uh, the tank buster, or not the bomb, bomb squeak, squeak hits. Wounds. It's a wound. AP2. Yep. Got a five up. I do fail it. Another six, six damage. Uh, the feel no pains are not helping with that one. So I've got one aggressor down. This one, we got two hits. Okay. We got None one death skull reroll hit. Okay, so nope. two hits. Two hits, death skull reroll wound. One wound. I do fail that save. I need to make some saves on these folks. I do make a feel no pain, so okay. kills one aggressor, wounds the next. All right. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna shoot this one, dude. He's gonna shoot his 
Big shoot over there. Okay. And where's the rocket gun? The rocket. Uh, the custom mega blaster. Custom mega blaster. So big shoot is here. Yep. Sure. So custom mega blaster. Hitting, hitting on, on sixes. sixes. Go skull. Nope. Nope. And then hitting on sixes. No. Okay. So weathered that okay. Shooting wasn't too bad there. Now the melee is probably going to hurt a lot more than the shooting, but still feel good to have those models alive. Yep. What we're going to do next is Captain Badrock. Captain there. Badrock. Shooting over there. And he's got 24 inch range? Yep. I believe he has it. Just going to double check. Is that over Badrock? Just a hair out. I'll move him up just a little bit. Sure. Move then. Fives. Reroll one of these free ones. Nope. One hit. One wound. Okay. Take a save. Eight be free. Fails it. No feeling of pain here. Flat three? Uh, yep. So I'm wondering if me pulling a model. I overcharged. I didn't take any wounds. Change. Do that. And that was with minus one to hit? Yes. Didn't take any wounds. So oh, he's minus got one to hit because I also moved. Of course. He's got a lot of um, models that he's got a seven inch charge into, so any one that I kill won't make a huge difference. So we're just going to pull this. Um, we'll just pull this model here. Okay. We're going to put the big shoot into them from the truck. Hitting on six sixes. Sixes. Sure. Death skull. Nope. Okay. And then. I think that's gonna be it for shooting. Okay. We're, oh, we got we got pistols there. Ah uh, yes, five pistols off those storm boys. They didn't advance. Ah. One daka, one death skulls, two hits. Death skull. Nah. Okay. <laughs> so the eradicators are still kicking, pending any shenanigans over here. Yep. So, actually, kind of hoping that I would do some damage here, like kill a model, wound a model, kill it on impact. I was going to do D3 mortal wounds on my charge, kill you, and then charge again. What was gonna D3 I damage. can charge free D6 on a vehicle mm, and cool. does D3 mortal wounds on a 2 plus. No, that would have been and cool. then orcs have a strategy where if you kill something on the kill charge, something on, with mortal wounds on the impact, you can charge again. Yep. Hopefully they will uh, still be alive after uh, after that. Well, that's I'm not shooting them anymore, so that's not happening. Okay. So you're gonna do the 3D6. We're, at, we're gonna do the 3D6. Okay. Good on the 5 CP. And this is him going there. there. I'm not gonna Overwatch, so let's see it. Definitely not on a nine. Okay. Right, here we go. Got it. So that goes to a 12 after the forest. That should be just fine. So here comes a Death Dread. Yep. We're going to wobbly right there. Mm hmm. I love it. And then the Storm Boys. Uh, let me think, Got actually, because I can do my buddy Overwatch thing here. Who can see them? No one, but I can probably intervene. Isn't it after you shoot, though? If you can't shoot, can you not complete the action man? Um, if I Even if I don't shoot, I still perform okay. heroic intervention. Uh, really, all that would be is if I spend two command points to get 2d6 inches of movement on the aggressors, that'd be really good for positioning me closer this way so that I can then try to shoot these boys. So 2d6 inches of heroic intervention gets could get me like all the way down here and then I just move and shoot. So that could be very nice. Um, I think even though I cannot... Um, now, the alternative is that if I don't do that, they're just going to come clean out these... Uh, uh, those Ludas and hopefully the Death Dread there. Um, do I need it to go after those boys to make sure that they're dead? It would certainly be nice. Um, two command points. I think we're going to spend it. Okay. So, remind me at the end of the charge phase. Gotcha. It All only nice. works if you make the charge. So if you fail the charge, darn it. Didn't huh. roll. It's net negatives. <laughs> um, so he's good there, but I will be able to heroically intervene with four um, aggressors. Currently you only got four models on that objective. Also, there's a heroic intervention coming. Well, if they don't make it. I, I don't have to get end within an interview. You just have to get closer. No, I think you engage you, now in close combat. Anytime you make a heroic, heroics must in engagement range. They change that from eight to nine, I believe. Can we double check that? Because that, that may affect whether or not I use the stratum. Actually, that will affect if I use so the stratum. So let's go ahead and do the everyone's then. Yeah, so let's let's put a pen in this one. So right now I'm at three command points. The boys. Uh, they got definitely it. overwatching. Okay. I'm defensible, so I'll head on fives. Yep. 24 shots. Overcharging. Okay, go. Cool. One at a time. Um, two. Uh, six. Six total? Yep. That guy's Are dead. you overcharging? Yeah, okay. Everyone overcharged. So one guy's gonna die. Yep. Um, seven one more save. The last one. That was pretty good. Artisans. 12 and vulnerable mm -hmm. saves on the orc boys. So 
So gonna killing lose 11 orc boys 11 with that. Orc boys. That's going to make his coherency really difficult if he wants to try to stay on that objective. Yep. 11 orc boys is a great overwatch result for me. Let me think here what I need to do. Imagine if there had been one more. Well, you lost one model. Yep. So, I think at this point, we're just going to take these guys away. Okay. Just not worry about that. Okay. Overwatch was pretty brutal. It was pretty nice, because um, I've killed seven so far, so this is now down to a 12-man unit of Orc Boys. Yep. And bringing them below that half strength before he gets to um, uh, do his other stuff. And um, which one is the knob? The one that uh, has the gun in the point in the air. The big one. Okay. Must end closer to the closest enemy model, so I can do 2d6 without getting okay. there. So I will spend those command points. Do you have to be within three characters? The form of heroic characters must be within three parts on the end. I would think that the strat of a rules that, because it says that I can perform the heroic intervention. As if it's with a character, and this is a requirement to start a heroic intervention. Then what's the point of the strat? I feel like that would literally make the strat pointless. Um, I would think that the fact that it performs it gets around whether or not it's eligible because the stratagem makes it eligible. That would be my understanding of reading that. Okay. If you want to read that. Seagull, do you have a strong opinion on the matter? Uh, did you roll the charge? Yeah, it was an 11. Oh, what? When did you roll that? Rolled it right before you fired Overwatch, and I'm like, oh, Overwatch, I'm like, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. do, 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 do. So it makes the charge with the Orc boys. Would have been yeah. nice if they'd failed, but you know, it was really pretty good odds that he made it, so I was more hoping that the Overwatch would thin the unit down enough because now I'm going to be able to shoot at characters with the Whirlwind Scorpius. Yep. So hopefully I'll be well, able to use... Well, you shoot use... Badrock. Well, I was actually thinking, like, kill that with one volley and then just shoot. Start Could shooting have to things. happen, too. I've got options. I, I've There are different ways that the Scorpius can prove useful at this point. Yep. So, boop, 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 boop. What we are doing here... It's really just going to give up on that. We just got to kill this unit. Bop. Vin. You want to go ahead and set up all that. Yep. Charges. Most of us 10. Seek's checking it out some more. Mm hmm. Yeah. Seek's so just double My interpretation would be that it allows me to perform the heroic intervention, which means that I think it would get around the checks to see if I'm eligible because the stratagem gives me a new requirement, which is that you made the charge. That's well, my it so much, it allows you to move three inches. 2d6. It's still not, the, it's still not 2D6. the- 2d6. Right, 2d6, but it doesn't change the range that you require to make a heroic intervention. But it says that I perform it. Right. I perform the heroic intervention. As if you were a character. Yeah. yeah. And so the character can normally perform it if it makes the situation. This tells me to perform it. So I think that I would be able to perform a heroic intervention. Do you have, do you have strong feelings about that, Mark? It's hard. I'll let, I'll let the judges and figure it out and everyone in the background. Sure. Because I can see it going either way. Okay. I believe it is. You have to be with it. You have to be able to move to the board. And then when you do it, you get to move up to 2d6. That's what I'm going to roll. So you're going to roll out of count? Well, in that case, I will not use the stratagem. <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. Okay. I believe you have to fill that requirement first. No problem. Then when you do, instead of moving three, you move two to six. No problem. Okay. So we're going to go right there. Plop. Making sure over three inches from those. Okay. And... I'm currently at four command points. Making sure for anything else. I think that's it for the charges. All right, so I do have the opportunity to interrupt here, so Mark has to be careful with how he yep. uh, how he does this. So really, if he interrupts here, it's not as bad. They only have two attacks as a free attacks each. 10 attacks from the unit. I'll reroll ones to hit and wound, and I'll have Master Artisan. Yep, so probably need to kill that one, and for this one, they don't have all the ex as many buffs. Hmm. They have more attacks. They do have all, they have additional free attacks. Mm -hmm. So they're at 13 attacks. Yep. Oh, you know I'm willing to spend two command points. Because I got them back. <laughs> Only currently have four models on this objective. That's correct. This is more important for these guys to survive. Okay. So kill us all. From the Storm Boys. 
They have skulls. Just two hits. hits. Two wounds. All right. I'll take some killing paints. Yep. Oh, um, killing paints. let me think. Sorry. Yeah. Um, the rest of the unit is what? Just chop us. I'm debating the one CP to get plus one saving against one damage weapons. Just because, like, you know, I, I don't really want Mark consolidating towards towards that stuff anyway. Um, but I think it would be 12 attacks, putting on fives. I think I'm fine right now. I think I'm just going to take these Feel No Pains on the first model. Uh, so he does die, tragically. And then uh, you can go and attack with the rest of the attacks. So I'm not okay. going to spend any command points yet. But um, perhaps, depending on how this goes, when I attack with the aggressors, we'll think about it then. Gotcha. Freeze here. And fives. We got three saves. One death skull. Nope. Three saves. All right. So three farmers. Uh, make two feel pain. I do make it, so neither of them are wounded. Okay. And then um, now I have the opportunity to interrupt. I'm not going to interrupt over there. It's just a death dread. Um, I do have the possibility of interrupting against. I got to do his D3 mortal wounds on you. On the two up. Goes off. D3. It's two. All right. So one bike goes down. That's all of them. So one biker goes down, um, and now I just have to decide. So I've got a um, good number of attacks over there. Um, I could spend four command points and just try to murder you. Um, I think that um, the fact of the matter is you've got one kill saw and a bunch of boys. Yep. I'm not going to kill the kill saw. So what I think I'm going to do is just let you swing. Because I think I'm going to have Inceptors left after this. Okay. Um, so I'm going to spend one command point instead on plus one save against AP DAP. Against uh, damage one weapons. Okay, so you're back to three up. Back to a three up save. Kill Souls. And he's four attacks. Kills. Four attacks is a... No, 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 only three attacks actually. Because okay. you killed me over an Overwatch. I killed several. Death Skulls, two hits. Nice. And Death Skull, two wounds. Okay, so you'll kill one. Yep. Right off the bat. And then... The boys. We've got some boys. So, I gotta do my pilots. They're going there. They're going there. Sure. Going there. He exists there. Everyone has be able... Everyone is able to. So, mm -hmm. 11 dudes. Here is six dudes. Yep. I'll take three away from the next roll. Freeze. And fives. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Yep. And you've already used uh, Death Skulls rerolls on everything. Wow. So how many saves? So eight saves. Eight saves. Not bad, but again, he's not wiping out the entire squad here. Um, yeah, I've still got my sergeant left. So eight three up armors. I do take one more wound, so I've still got three inceptors left. I'm pretty okay with that. They can't be wrapped. Um, so I'm hoping they'll punch back a little bit. We'll do a little bit more damage. Mark is a nasty morale check coming up, and then I can probably fall back onto the objective. What is happening now? The second volley. Oh, that was only half the dudes. Never mind. <laughs> I was really optimistic right there. My god, this is great. Look at that. I'm so alive. This is awesome. How many more saves? Four. Four more saves. Okay. Still might be alive here. Uh, take one more wound. Yeah. So, Inceptors are still kicking. Try to kill a little extra more there. Oh, well. Invin the Death Dread. Not interrupting that. <laughs> Three attacks. Let's see what hit on. Uh, freeze. Death Skulls. Two, Two hits. hits. Three on twos. Two wounds. AP. AP free. Free damage. Yep. Takes, uh... Three wounds, so still ah. kicking on the Outrider. Yep. Really nice there. Still got units left. Mark didn't get a lot of kills for the purpose of grinding them down. Okay. No. Okay. So I'm going to start swinging back with the um, Inceptors first. That's the stuff. I'm, I know I'm not putting any resources there. Um, we just want to see how much I can do. So we're just looking at 10 attacks. We've got one reroll and everything here. Yep, yep. Um, we'll use that hit roll. Didn't help. And then four is the wound. Nothing crazy here. We'll use a wound. So four. Four. AP as well, you just gotta got six minimal. Yep. Okay. Two more There's boys two down. Right here. All right. Pretty nice. So again, just thinning that unit down. At this point, I'm confident I'll be able to kill it in shooting after this morale check. And if he rolls a one, it'll be annoying, but otherwise I think I think I'll be able to knock them off. All right. Um let's do this one. Here? Now let's do the outrider. He's my sergeant. He's got shock assault. He's got a chain sword. He hits on um threes. We'll reroll one. And he wounds on fives, I'm sure. If not tough eight, probably. Four AP one. Take two. You know what? Take what I can get. Go outriders, go. Six wounds. Okay. All right. Vin. Your up. All right. Yeah, right. so the bonus here is that if I kill them, all five, then I get to a point where I can shoot at death dreads. It's a really nice spot to be at. It really um 
killing a couple of them to make sure that a fight twice doesn't take me onto the objective. On the other hand, I think that if the aggressors, I'm just gonna look at these charges here because I've cleared out a lot of Mark's bodies. Oh. So can you hold that over the death dread? Great, uh, not, not bent, like straight up so that I can measure distance. So right now I'm less than 14. So I'm 13 point something. If I move five, I'll be eight point something. It's a makeable charge, but it's not a great charge. Um, I think what I would really like to do is get two eradicators to shoot them. We're gonna spend two command points. We're gonna get plus one strength, plus one wound. Okay. So we're gonna be wounding you on twos now. Um, it's only seven attacks actually. Let me just think here. I'll be hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Um, Highland goes there, yeah. Hit on threes, re-roll ones, wound on three, mm. twos, re-roll ones. Thanks, Fred, for tipping ten dollars. Woo! No, kill, we're not. Kill, 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 kill. What? Not spending. Money. Not spending it. Not doing any of this. No, I'm not doing any strategy. I'm just okay. piling in here to get within six of the go. captain, and then um, yep. basing you. Your own ones. Ha! Cool. Seven hits. Oops. Wounding on fours. We'll reroll that. Six saves. Six saves. Six Ooh. saves. Rough. Storm boys down. Storm no command down. points Stop. needed. Glorious, glorious that eradicators. That was very clutch. Uh, and I'll just consolidate three. We're just gonna get right closer to these death dreads. Yep. Okay. Very good turn of events for me there. All right. Um, I think we're at the morale stage. Yep. Yep. Um, I only lost, I lost one Eradicator there. I'm leadership 90 of the Chaplain, so I'm good. Lost one Aggressor, we're fine. Lost two Outriders. I lost one Outrider. You lost one. He's the Sergeant anyway, he's fine. I lost two models here, I'm fine. Those boys definitely need a morale check. They lost, uh, on a one they pass. One they pass. Oh, okay. you knew it was coming, folks. You knew he was gonna. <laughs> All right, so that Orc boy unit is fully intact. Um, but there's only, um, one, two, three, four. There's only 10 models left, so not so shabby. All right, we're good to go. Looks like it. So now I really need to make sure that I delete these. I think the flame regressors will get that job done pretty safely. Then I just need to come clear out some death dreads, hopefully murder the rest of those, and then maybe the Scorpius can get some work done. Yep, yep. So I've got 10 inches I'm moving. I'm gonna get, let's think here, two on engage on all fronts, because you picked up the Storm yep, Boys. Picked up the Storm Boys, so Mark gets another two points on engage on all fronts. And yep. how many units did you, did you kill any units for the purpose of grinding them down? I don't think so technically. I think I hit every single inch. Weakened it. You weakened a lot of units, certainly. But I think I think that's correct. I think that I'm still intact here. So I can't fall back and do anything. But we're just gonna put a couple models on that objective. Yep. Unfortunately I have to leave the forest due to the number of orc boys left. I was really hoping that a morale check would do something there, but take what you can get. Oh yeah, I do gotta figure out one thing. I need to see real fast, I forgot at the end of my turn for fight. Let me see if I need because I need oh, to fight there. Of course. Um I can fight there. The storm boys were originally it. But those guys need to really kill those dudes. That's a lot so of work. So you're thinking of fighting twice? I am gonna fight twice. Okay. I do just need to kill those dudes. Sounds good. Um. Well, we're, we're just doing a fight here, but I'm yeah. going to get ten because yep. uh, that's contested. Um, I'm not obsec. You're not obsec. So ten guys there. Here's four boys. Mm -hmm. And six boys. I'll just do. You don't want to do the. Oh, I guess you do. I'll do nine more first. attacks after this. Sure. Because you only have one wound left on that model. Yep. It makes sense to me. Hey. That's pretty good there. Five wounds. Five? Yep. And there's nine more coming? Nine more coming. Take two. Okay. The next ones. We got one more. Take Dang it. And then a uh, kill saw. And kill you haven't saw. used any of your reels yet, right? Nope. Save the best for last. Death skulls, one, one hit. Death skull, one does wound. All right, so AP4 Minus is four. gonna punch right through. So I will now out owe you a morale check on that unit. Yep. I lost four friends. He's leadership eight. He knows no fear. Oh, so, no, leadership eight without the sergeant, or did you leave the sergeant? I left the sergeant. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Good. Cool. All right. All right. And that's really it. So go ahead. Nothing to gain there really for movement. Me. Can't just gonna point. keep in there so I've got an engage on all front point, but hopefully I, I might even be able to push for another one here. So let me just check uh, where that 30 inch mark is because I maybe this Outrider's got the opportunity. Minus two, probably not. Probably not, but we're gonna double check. No, that's pretty well out of his range. I'd have to advance. I assume you want to be within an inch of me. Well, you have to, you had to be yeah. within, so he's, he's within an inch. 
No problems there. Now, what I think he's gonna do is he's just gonna fall back. Okay. Leave me a model here. I'm hoping that the aggressors will pick up all of these tank busters. I'm in Tactical Doctrine still, and I go up to four command points. So let's just look at this. Um, scouts so, can... You use touching to make sure? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So I'd only need a three in the advance for the scouts to make it, but I don't think that's really necessary. If I can clear out a lot of the damage dealers here, I'll be in good in a good spot. Um, let me do my chance. We're gonna give plus one to hit to the aggressors. Yep, yep. Burr. Yep, Got certainly well. We're probably gonna just give them plus one to wound to double tap, and they're just gonna move forward and try to clear out as much as I can. We actually, for my own humor, more than twenty-one. One is there. One is there. Okay. So I could actually just shoot two right there and hold still, but I think I'll just move and get the command point just to make sure that if there's one model left, I can double tap and wipe it out, maybe take care of the Death Dread as well. Do Death Dreads explode? Yes. Three inches? Three inches. So the Outrider's safe? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Um, and then I'm thinking I'm gonna just send three Eradicators forward to try to melt two cans or Death Dreads that way. Maybe the captain can go try to finish off. Um, so this unit will move uh, six inches up. They're just gonna go around the crater. Okay. Um, I probably will not get them all in rapid fire range, but we'll get some. Uh, my rapid fire range at half distance is 13.5, so I'll just have uh, three rapid fire, two single shot. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, the Inceptor's not doing anything. Oh, no, the Flame Regressors are gonna just come delete them. Who am I kidding? <laughs> um, that's why I have Flame Regressors. I'm actually shoot Badruck. You could shoot Badruck. Well, let me just see if I could shoot Badruck and also shoot 11 inches. Say so the sergeant who's too damaged could go there. Oh yeah, I could um I could easily flame you with two aggressors and shoot the third at bad rock. Gotcha. So what I can do about that, Mark. So in that case, um this unit uh they'll move up it just in case there's a model left. Um you don't wanna you don't wanna sell yourself short there. So I think what we're gonna do is the eradicators are just gonna move up five inches to right here. And this guy um will he's gonna step it in the outline so he's got line of sight. The captain should be able to drive through that wall. There's a big hole in it. Yep. It's right there. Um, it's making that a, you know, three, 2.9 away from both of these models. Um, the scouts are gonna just tuck into the ruin, I think. Really wanna, you know, be on the objective, uh, make sure that I'm holding down this side of the fort. Um, they'll advance, there's no reason not to. So an extra four inches. They're all uncovered, touching the train piece. Um, we'll go ahead and walk the aggressors forward five. I'm definitely going to spend that command point to count a stationary. Don't recall if it's the end of my movement phase or the beginning of my shooting, so I think it's end of movement, and we'll just do it now to make sure. Um, you know, I'm not really getting that reroll one Zora off the captain, so we're good to go there. Um, but he is rerolling ones for all the eradicators, and then the lieutenant is going to step to right there so that he's covering all three of these Gravis armor units. The chaplain, I think, is content with its current position. Plus one hit on the Scorpius is going to be the most important thing at this point. Uh, they already moved. Flame aggressors are going to arrive right there. The outriders are good. Yep. So there is no psychic phase. We'll launch into the shooting phase. We're just going to start off. These two eradicators are going to shoot this death right here. Gotcha. Come on in. Uh, four hits. Still in tactical doctrine, obviously, so I'm winning on twos with the lieutenant. That'll be four invulnerable saves on that death right. Six ups. Feel free. Uh, he's taking oh, nine damage. Right so does he nuke? No. All right. This one. One of right. Yep. One eradicator is going to shoot the next. Okay. Uh, two hits. Uh, rerolling ones. Uh, that's two more. AP a lot. Six ups. Nope. Yeah, both. First one is damaged five. Second, Second one, one is damaged. Got it. Right, it's dead. Okay. Um, this unit of aggressors. Um, I can pretty safely see with twenty-one inches. Yeah. So we're just going to do one, one, two. See if okay. that's enough. Um, because I've got a double shoot here to make up the difference. Um, what? Uh, there's just a hole. I just drove physically through it. Can I not do that? I can move up and over a terrain piece. Yeah, you can move up and over. Yeah, so I went up over this part and down. Sounds fair to me. Okay. For I, I the most can't. part. It's like, like don't, don't worry, it still works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wee. Just did that. Now, that Raider probably couldn't fit. What's that? An outrider probably. An outrider may not have fit, but the captain um, is a little yeah, smaller of a base. base. Okay. Um, we're going right. to do flame yeah. aggressors next. Mastercrafted boy is going to go there. Two are yep. going to go here. I'm definitely going to plus one. No, we, we started here. So I did the plus one. I started at four. 
Yep. I spent one on counter stationary. I spent one on plus one to wound. Yep. Okay. So we'll we'll do this now. Um, let's just um. Yeah. Yeah. One one at each. Okay. And um. Let's do it the the death dread. Gotcha. Um, the leftmost from my perspective is three. The rightmost from my perspective, so nine shots out of my one, two, three. Hitting on threes, because of my plus one. Rerolling one shot total. We'll reroll one of those. Wounding on threes. Rerolling ones and one shot total. We'll go ahead and reroll one of these. So just five AP minus one. On here? Yep. Five AP one. Six ups. Take three. Yep. Yeah. Two models left. Then, uh, Splitting the other way. I've already used a reroll on the hit and wound. So, whoa, uh, one save. Wow, all right, I split far way too much. This is why we double shoot. <laughs> one more save there. One more save on the same unit? Uh, the second unit. Second unit, okay. Take one. And then uh, 2d6 into the death dread. Yep, yep. Uh, only four more shots. So nine. So this will be 12, 16 shots. That was nine plus five plus seven. One more. Hitting on threes, re-rolling uh, nothing. Here we go. Wounding on fours, re-rolling ones. Rolling nothing. Wounding on fours. What's its armor save? Armor save for you. Take uh, just three AP1. Wow, oh, okay. Three AP1. May have to use the Scorpius. Take two. Boop. Hmm. Bit less there than I was expecting, honestly. Um, so there's, how many are left in each of those two squads? Oh, uh, there's four left in this one and two left in this one. And that's got four ones left. Yep. Um, what does the Volkite pistol on a, uh, Lieutenant do? I have no idea. Me neither. Zombus box, pretty sure it's 15 inch, uh, two shot strength, six AP dash mortal wounds on sixes, Take two damage flat. Not really sure. Ah, uh, very close. Strength five. So two shots, uh, eight, uh, he's on the train piece and it's 18 inch range because of my extended range. Yep. Hitting on um, twos, um, rerolling Hitting ones. on threes, minus one. Well, it's two sixes, so okay. it's definitely that. Oh yeah, that's true, yeah, you got a force. Um, wounding on um, fives. Are you not rolling at minus one like all the I, upper shots? They were, because they were plus okay. one to hit. Okay. Because they had the champ. Gotcha. Um, we'll reroll one of those with artisans. Your toughness a lot, yeah, we're good, so no damage. Would've been cool. Um, so then, if I don't kill it, it's not the end of the world. I just would rather it be dead than not. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, aggressors. We're going to put one into the wounded squad. Three okay. right there. Gotcha. Leaving one of those for a Scorpius volley, potentially, depending on how um, other things go. So one into the guy, the unit that has two left, right? Yep. So let's try to knock that out. Uh, five shots. Much better. Is 11 total. Uh, hitting on threes. Rerolling nothing. Wounding on threes. Rerolling Ones. lieutenant. Okay, so that's excellent. Eight. Eight on the two six man. Six up on the two man. <laughs> okay, gone. Cool. All right, uh, three d6 into the death dread. All right, that's much better. Eight, 12 more shots. So we're looking at 30 shots. We'll do 15 twice. Three, six, okay. nine, 12, 15. This volley twice. I have not used any salamander rerolls yet. Threes, we'll reroll one in the first volley. Wounding on fours. Yep. Uh, we'll reroll one in this volley. Oof. All right, just take that. Because there's double this, but he might just die. Yeah, he's dead. If you want, you don't. Yep. All right, cool. So <laughs> overkill there. Uh, swung low, then swung high. I'll take it. So there is four, um, four tank busters left. Tank right busters left. Killing them would be pretty convenient. Let's go ahead and move over to this stuff first. Yep. Two aggressors are going to go there. One's going to go there. Okay. Can you um, break me down Badrick's defensive stats? I believe he's T5 because he's a war boss. What if I think five wounds or six wounds? T5 and a war boss. Yep, because I believe he's just a boss. Six wounds. Six wounds. Three of armor. Three of armor. T4 and a five of him one. That's it. Yep. So, sorry, he's T5. Yep. T4. T4. T4, okay. He just has six wounds. And what's his armor again? Three of armor, five of him. Okay. How many wounds is he? Six. six. All right. So he would need to fail three saves against Mastercraft the Flamer. Could spend a command point just to max shots on the aggressive sergeant. Okay. So 12 shots into Badrick. Gotcha. There's very limited things that Mark has left that can deal with me, so I just want to try to knock them out, and then uh, the other two are going here. Gotcha. So this is on Badrock. 12 shots, wounding on threes. Go ahead and take 10 AP1. 
10 AP1 on that, Brooks, see if it matters. He's no. super dead. Okay. Uh, 4d6 coming in on these boys. Yep. Um, 12, 16. So 4, 8, 12, 16. Wounding on threes. You'll have a six of fin bone, and I have one reroll still to use. Go ahead and take 13. 13. AP minus one. So you're going to need to make a few of these. Do you want to just roll these? Ah, I got it right here. That was 13, you said? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 12, 13. You just rolled 17 dice. 17? Okay. Thir so I rolled Take 13. 13. I was counting it. Okay. Take those 13. <laughs> okay. Dude, that's not 13. That's 9. And also Great, those. I failed Thank 3 you. out of 16. Yeah. We're both bad at it. Thank you Wait, so much for How many wounds did you actually do? It was 16 hits. Three of them failed. Okay. So should be 13. Oh my so they're gonna be gone probably. They're, yeah, they're gonna be gone. All right. So the yep. the incursors won't have anything to shoot at. Um, no, they're actually got a lot. No, nope, nope, they're opposite. Okay. okay. All right. Die. So they won't shoot then. They'll have nothing to do. I <sighs> do have a Scorpius. So the boys are all gone. Right now, is this the only objective you have models on? Yep. So obviously, I really want to limit Mark's ability to score primary points. Um. Now I think that the only thing really left for me, um. Is to just um. I think I just really want to... We'll put the first volley into that unit there. Okay. Just want to try to knock them out. Hitting on fours uh, because I'm shooting through a forest. Yep. But, you know, every dead tank bus to make me feel better. Uh, only three shots. Very unfortunate. I'll take it. Um, that'll be Artisan's... Yep. Uh, no hits. No hits. It's a hilarious, Scorpius. All right. Um, I think that I'm just... I mean, the most... So I've gotten 10, 10. I'll need one turn of 15 on primary to be good to go. So I think I'm fine. Um, we'll just put the second volley into them, which is amazing. Gotcha. Um, seven shots this time. A little better. Uh, yep. Seven hits. Wow. Zero Not hits to seven good. hits. Wounding on threes. And will artisans that for six invulnerable saves. Six invulnerable. They're yep. gone. So we cleared that out. Good take for me. All right. I'm pretty content with that. Right. So that'll do for me. Um, I'll get another grind them down. Yep. Um, I should be at 10 points on bring it down. And Mark will get five primary. Yep. So, and one banner at the start of my turn. He'll get one banner at the start of his turn. So let me sink here. Take measure someone, please. Think of what I can do to scavenge up some points here. Of course. Yep. And we are doing tiebreaker as points differential in this game. So yep. obviously I have an incentive to try and deny Mark as many points uh, as possible. Let me... Yep, uh, we'll do heroic intervention or on the chaplain. Okay. Doesn't matter too much, but just in case. Uh, fails, try it again. Passes. Okay. So really this turn, all I want to do... Have some fun? Try to pump down some... Just get some points. Of really, course. that's it. Now, I can get three points on engage in all fronts. I can get two, sorry. Yeah, it's three, all he has three units left, but if he splits up the quarters and then jumps the weird boy, he can get a couple more points. Yep. So, I'm probably gonna do just that. Try to figure out what else I have. Of course. It could be hard for him to get grinded down. I go up to free CP. It will be hard for him to get grinded down if I don't have anything left. If I kill like four sinks, he can't get it. So I get points there. If he kills four units, that, that is correct. But uh, it's ambitious. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's got. Full health. Full health. Okay. You can't interrupt us, the main scene. Nope, I have one command point left at the moment. So, War Boss is going to uh, advance. Okay. He's going to a good old. There's 10 inches. Yep. The War Boss is definitely going to be able to come do some damage. Yep. What do you think? Just try to kill Eradicators, get another unit kill? Try to kill Eradicators. Eradicators are uh, pretty. It's, it I can also go over here. Mm hmm. And try to kill off. The problem is he can't engage both of them. It doesn't matter if I fight again. Oh, yeah, uh, and I they have fire flamers, overwatch. And fire one. overwatch is just bad. Yeah, that would be not good. So, what I'm going to consider. Mm -hmm. I really think I just have to be able to kill these two and be happy with that. I don't think I can the jump. And where would the jump bring me? Smite the bike dude, take him off of that objective, which would be hilarious. Uh, I can contest him there. Try to take him off. Contest him here, maybe? 
And he's at two models, multiple models over there. So Four that's models. not happening. Five models. Anyway. I could also the jump, try to go tag the Scorpius. Sure could. Um. So let's sink here. Sink. It's really gonna be leaked. Come here. How fast does the truck move? He is degraded. He's at the front. Probably like. Can I just check? Yep. Probably like six inches. Maybe a little lower. It's one of the older ones, so it has a weird saying. Six inches. Okay. Yeah. So. No, it's, it's at four inches. It's at four ones? Oh, okay, so even eight. So. Oh, so plenty of plenty more. Right. Is the goal just to tag the objective? Yep. Makes sense. Then the jump will go over here. We'll do some C's. And I uh, think that's going to be it. Okay. So, right here. The jump. Passes on a seven. Yep. All right. Swarp charge seven. Yep. Very nice. Eat. Just go nine away. Nine away. Very nice. And let me try to set up the. Charge some scouts. Yes. Charge the scouts. <laughs> you can get the scouts on a 12. Okay. <laughs> so Mark Perry Madness coming up. All right, Smite. Passes on five, so it'll do one wound to the Outrider, so he'll die. <laughs> so you've got one kill down so far. Okay. Um. Let's do that uh, truck. Sure. Going to kill. Going to kill that a uh, dude over in front of him. Death skulls. Two hits. Two more Dakas. Just two hits. Nope, two hits. Then two wounds. Can make oh. my saves. Scepter right. is alive. Now we're gonna do the war boss. Gonna fire his custom shooter into those eradicators in front of him. Sure. Oh. That's cool. Ah. Okay. All right. Charges. Sure. See if I go there with the crazy. It's not a. Yeah. <laughs> not on a five. Okay. <laughs> Charging both of them here. Sure. Um, I'm on it. Overwatch? No, I'll just save it for a reroll. Okay. Yeah. All right. Space of both. Yep. And. How do you want to split up? I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to kill the Eradicators because they killed my Death Threats. Vengeance. Death Skulls. What's the, um, I can't turn to it anyway. God. Twos. Death Skulls. Or actually just kill all reroll's wounds. Or AP. AP free. Damage. Flat three, right? AP three, six ups. I do make two. Arr. First guy, six up, feel no pain. Why'd you have to make two? He lives. Yeah. Then he dies. So one model dies. That's not cool. Okay. Look at that. That war boss. That war boss. We're good. All right. Uh... You got your activations? Captain. Uh, we'll reroll ones for himself. Uh, and we're good. And your toughness. Five. Yeah. Mildly annoying. Should have done plus one strength. Three. Invulns. Fail all three. How many ones is he? Seven. If you insist. Well, I'll fight on death. Should I command point one of these? <laughs> Hold on. I, I could literally just command point one or one of those. This is five, so you it'd be on a three up. I know I can reroll a damage. Oh, you don't want, I'm going to fight them again. Yeah, all right, we might as well kill <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Go ahead and do thing. So he's dead. Who do you want to swing on? We're gonna just go ahead and just try to kill the captain. See if he can get glories. Five hits. Five hits. Ugh. Real oh, wounds. Real wounds. Real wounds. Kill the claw. Cocked. Yeah, three wounds. Three wounds. Uh, and there's a minus one to wound. Yeah, so minus one to freeze wound. Your strength. Fourteen. Strength 14. Either strength 14 or strength 12, actually. Let me check. That is a big difference, because I would like to take zero wounds. Yeah, but I forgot your T7. <laughs> okay. uh, while we're looking that up, Sleepy Gary subscribed to Twitch Prime. It's that 14. Woo! Thank you so much, Sleepy Gary. Excellent. Really appreciate that one. Strength 12, so no, only two wounds. So two wounds, so I can't die, but I don't. Uh, just take three wounds. He's got four left. We're good? Yep. Chaplain Champ will uh, make the Scorpius plus one to hit. We can Fails, go ahead and do it. this. Good game. Good game. Um, you should get one more banner on your turn on turn four, but after that I should... Uh, and turn five, I'll get it too. I will definitely move and stop it. Can you stop that at all? 
One. Two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mark. Your game, Mark. Your game. Let's uh, set up this gimbal. Yep. So Mark, so I'll get 45 on primary. Yep. Um, I'll get three points on um, engage in all fronts. For the rest of the game, I'll max um, grind them down, and I've got 12 on um, the game hunter. Yep. So what is that final score looking like? Pretty bad. Um, I've that was my I've already taken my turn three, so I'm just gonna get six more points. Yeah, he's only so I got to grind 13. Down. So I'm at 13 for engage in all fronts, 15 for grind them down, 12 for bring it down. Yeah. Because I'll. Yeah, Mark yep. will get one more raise the banner. And then one more at the end of the game too. I'm gonna shut that down. Oh, you're gonna shut that down. down. So he'll get one more. <laughs> this points differential is a tiebreaker. So I really want to get as many points here. Not that I want to be cruel to Mark. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, if I, you know, if I lose a tie by one point, then I would be sad I didn't kill the banner. <laughs> so I uh, got to go for that one hard as I can. Good game, Mark. Good game. Salamanders. Yeah. <laughs> they got some shooting there. Um, I was surprised you reserved as much as you did. Um, One thing was a little bit of like, if you castled up a little bit, the reserving would have been stronger, I think. You spreading your forces. Uh, you spread out a little farther than I thought you were going to do. Out in the middle, yep. and I thought you're gonna be a little tighter, um, and the that was really you... my pregame. Yeah. Um, the thing that was was finding out the combination of units that I should have deep strike. Mm -hmm. I should have just went ahead and spent the extra points, put the mega knobs all on deep strike, mm. um, and just left the storm boys yeah. on board. Me just getting to eradicator six mega knobs. Yeah. One. I, did, I, I didn't see. I didn't think about the eradicators being there. I should have. I should have removed all those units there, and that was my bad of not noticing. Mm -hmm. Um, and the turn when I deep strike the uh, death dreads, they should just gone over here, just picked up that unit, just waited a turn. Makes sense. I could have done that, lost none of them this turn, yeah. and then still have a good turn four or five place. What? 140. I could not have gotten yeah. 100. Uh, 95, 95. It, yeah, I got max primary. There's, yeah, okay, got it. Got so it, got it. it should be 90 max for primary. Well, I painted my army. Um, I got 45 primary. Okay. Yeah. I missed three points on bring it down. I missed two oh, points okay. gotcha. on that. So I missed five points also. Sounds good to me. Yep. Um, okay. Um, really, uh, yeah, the Salamanders are super strong. Um, that aggressor unit, um, very happy just having them trundle up field. Uh, the Plasma Inceptors were my favorite part. Yeah. And obviously the Scorpius is clutch, but the Scorpius does Scorpius things. Um, having the Overwatch and the defensible piece of terrain to that's, get on that's, five. That's why I should have put all the killer yeah. cans over there. Are they Death Trans? Yeah. I did put them in the forest all my stuff there. so that like, hitting on sixes, like I was hoping, but you know, orcs can right, roll sixes. I, right, and you didn't have any field of pains over there. No, so I, I would have put all, I should have just put all the tank busters over there, mm -hmm. jumped them inside the truck. Oh, no, yeah. I couldn't have done that that turn. But I could have just put all my fire over there, just abandon this side and then just focus on this middle one. The next turn, the boys jump over there. Yep. That's where I lost the game. Yeah, um, there's a lot of damage output that can come out of these Salamanders. Yeah. As, as you folks can see, um, really, really big damage output there. Okay. Um, are there any questions in the chat? Um, I, I was pretty happy with how the army played for me. Um, I think, uh, again, Plasma Inceptors and Scorpius were my MVPs. Uh, Flame Aggressors were great. They came in, they did their job. Um, like that bike captain a lot. Um, the bolter aggressors were fine. Uh, they did they did their job. They're love that chaplain. Fine. Love that lieutenant. Um, this really really satisfied with the list overall. I think it executed about how I wanted it to. Yeah. All right. Question for Mark. Mm -hmm. Did you think that game was winnable with the list we had today? What would you have needed to happen to win? So like I said, like one thing was like the damage I did take. Uh, needed to do more that turn mm -hmm. for that game plan. But really, I should have just went over here, dropped over there, and did that, um, and just picked up that uh, that unit over there. The real thing that hurt me really here was like the. I'm trying to sit there and say was like secondaries really put me behind. I was trying to pull out some of the haymakers on the primaries to counterbalance because I had I was forced to take it ground, grind it down mm -hmm. because I didn't have anything else better. I was like, okay, cool, I get four points on bring it down. I'm yeah. more between, like if I get one grind down, that's one less point with potential more. Yeah, and also if, if he if Mark goes second, that becomes a lot more achievable. And yeah. obviously you knew your game plan was to go first. Yep. So it, it does set up a little bit more play if he is forced to go second, because absolutely if I'd won the roll off, I would have chosen first turn. Yeah. So um, if he was put in that bad position, it could have given him some more easily contestable points. Yep. What was your third secondary? Uh, it was engage all fronts. Yep. And it was grand down and then banners. Got it. Yeah. I didn't like raise the banners very much. Then, like I should, I could have secured this one better. On Dawn of uh, War, I, I thought you would scramble. I was considering it too, but at the same time, I was a little, little worried because actually, when I look at the position, where it would have been hard for me to scramble without putting, continue putting pressure on you. Uh, when you deployed the truck, I figured you would. Put, uh, when you reserved all the things, I would have put um, 
kept five storm boys in it um immediately scramble turn one yeah and then turn two you move out so, of it into my objective that's one button. of the reasons why like the reason i took great advantage was already, already so far behind on the secondaries i was trying to take one something if i pulled out an early game advantage i was trying to push forward more with those secondary points yeah because me capping at 10 was just not enough because grind it was that was just i couldn't do much better like, yeah. i was just trying to get the points that i could that makes sense. that's why i was trying to focus on the primary so much harder uh, that one biker over there did not need to live. I'm trying to remember what it was. I forgot to make my charges here. I'm trying to remember just a little stuff that it like cut it down a lot better on. And it was one thing was just like experience. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, John, did you feel the whirlwind justified its cost? I did. I thought the whirlwind was awesome. You know what? Is the last thing to shoot every turn. I get I get two shots at that I don't need to check ranger line of sight on. He's 51 inches of not needing to see you. So he was he's the safety net. I, laid, I made a lot of plays where I'm like, this could leave a, mod, a couple of models alive, like when I left Tank Busters alive. And that was the aggressors. Like, I thought I was going to kill them all, but like, I had a safety net if it failed. And when it did, Scorpius delivered, he took out the unit. He, yep. he did his job. Um, the Flamer aggressors did great. There was a point where he was going to start shooting characters, but uh, we didn't get to that point. Uh, no, I thought, the, I thought the Scorpius was great. I have literally no complaints. Another question for you, John. Mm -hmm. You've been touting your White Stars list for a while after seeing everybody's RTT list. Is there a list you were, is this a list you were glad you didn't end up having to play? And can we look forward to seeing that match on stream in the future? The am I glad I didn't have to play the Salamanders? Yes. I'm extremely glad I don't have to play against Salamanders in general. However, I honestly think that the White Scars have a slight advantage in the matchup. Um, it's close, they're both great marine armies, but my playstyle of White Scars does pair fairly well into Salamanders. Um, especially um, the kind that another player here might have brought with like a grab pod instead of a Scorpius. Um, that's a big difference for me. I would much rather play against a grab pod. Uh, Mark should get the 10 point shirt bonus. A lot of love for the shirt in the chat. <laughs> Thank you guys. Is it I? Um, Mark got punished because the Lord of Change saves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Possibly. You're not wrong. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, and then uh, Vortex meta. He just needed more Vortex Beasts. Need more oh, Vortex you beasts. definitely needed more. Mutal Three Mutal Vortex Beasts. I'm not over that. I mean, can you image what like they give extra AP to like the boys? No, we don't need that in our lives. There's already too much AP on those things. All right. Any other questions in the chat? Uh, any final thoughts from you guys, and then uh, um, a plug for uh, the upcoming games we have. All right, so final thoughts? Final thoughts was I needed more experience, and this list is like it's a third version. I actually already have this next list to its next two versions mm -hmm. uh, passed after we submitted for the new dates. Yeah. So one thing is just getting it more experience and just little ins and outs, and I just made misplays on the bed tabletop. That's what I really made a mistake. So on. Makes sense. So pregame was wrong. Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel... Um, I think I think it did what I wanted overall. I wasn't expecting you to take the strategy you did of uh, reserving so much. I thought you need, should have put a little more on the table just to keep me honest. Right. Like, it, it became a thing of well, I know I'm not getting shot turn one, so right. I, I was able to deploy a lot more spread out than I may have originally planned. Um, that let me kind of keep harassing so, this side while taking over this one. One of the reasons why I didn't really want to put too much up on board is because like you having the defense well, we had this L, we had that angle. Yeah. You had a lot of ways to cut my angles hard. That's true. Uh, and I would never have been able to hit you with one zinc. And definitely with the mission being so spread, uh, I want to kind of like play some guerrilla warfare with you, but I don't think I just play guerrilla warfare. I just play blunt on blunt, hammer on hammer, and I break your spear tip. That's what I think I have to do uh -huh. uh, after playing around a little bit more. Okay. Um, or just take my force and be mobile enough and flink away wherever you have. You spread yourself a little too fit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. Well, what are you doing tomorrow? We are playing World Leaders. Versus the Grey Knights. Uh -huh. That's at 1 p.m. on this not channel right on build. Twitch. Um, I'll be behind the camera for that one. Yep. You're going to be playing against Mr. Richard Siegler. Yep. What, what time think? will that be? 1 p.m. Eastern time, time Eastern time on Twitch. Yep. So that's going to be an exciting one to see. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Raptors kill Paladins. They're do, pretty stupid. I don't quite do have they? the builds for that. I have the Seven Mans, which, you know, they can kill them and hurt, but they're not killing the whole unit. <laughs> okay. But still, if you kill, if you kill a Paladin with a Raptor, I yep. think you get at least 100 bonus points. Possibly. Minimum. Possibly. Minimum. Main bonus. All right. Final question. Which list is John least looking forward to playing against? Um, of the ones that we know about or in general? Because to the answer to both is Richard Siegler's Adeptus Mechanicus. That game is going to be on Sunday, 1 p.m. Myself versus Richard Siegler. You know what? I'm coming in with a win, so I'm I'm already feeling better than I could have because I was a little nervous about this one. But uh, it did it luckily uh, bounce my way. Um, it's going to be a tough matchup, but um, I've got some plans. I've got, got, some, plans. I've got some plans. Uh, I'm not going down without a fight. We'll put it that way. Uh, we'll see what happens. 
And oh, T-Bone to Max says, are you going to change the terrain up during the RTT? We are indeed. Yep. We will yep. be uh, changing it based on the mission that we're playing. So every single mission mm -hmm. of the six that we're playing has a different terrain setup. Each of the same pieces uh, to keep it balanced between games, but it'll be a different setup. Yep. Kind of like LVO where the terrain uh, switched based on mission. Exactly. Pretty good stuff. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. Very much appreciated. We really appreciate all your support, and you, we hope you're going to join us tomorrow for the Grey Knights versus World Eater slash Word Bearers list. Um, and then um, coming up, we are going to send you over in a raid to Monument uh, Slow Fuse. Ooh, ooh. Really good hobby stream for Warhammer. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time. All right. Boy! Boy! Give it 10 seconds to do the raid. Oh, we got 10 more seconds here. Mark can do the little dance. Time. Da. Ooh, Which is Nick's scariest Go list? for the nose. Is... Pro probably Death Guard. Uh, maybe... Yeah, probably Death Guard. Probably Death Guard, but the, probably the one we should all be most worried about is probably... Harlequins. We'll see how it's played. I'm not worried about Harlequins. All right. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye.